Heather. Heather. Haley. Haley. Mm -hmm. Haley and Heather. Very nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet I've been you. excited. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, I've really been into the uh, true crime stuff. You know, I don't think it's from the aspect of like, you know, kind of how the trend is, you know, everyone's into it. And I don't, whatever, you know, floats your boat. I'm not going to knock anybody for that. But my thing is to more of to be aware of like your surroundings, your environment, things that could possibly happen. Um, I found your guys' YouTube channel and I think it's great what you guys are doing like here locally, um, discussing cases here. Um, like I, I didn't even know about a majority of them. So I don't know if they just didn't receive much media attention or it's just kind of. That would be exactly yeah. right. Oh, is it? Right. Okay. Right. Um, could you give me a backstory? We'll start with you first. Okay. Um, about kind of how you started the podcast like what kind of got you into it or what got you into all of it in general well it's kind of a mutual answer there mm -hmm. really. right um uh, is it because of me is that why or well i um i've been volunteering with the doe network for mm -hmm. about um since 2010 mm -hmm. and i wanted to do a podcast on missing people mm -hmm. and so i asked her to give um to make a list of cases that she would want to do and when we got together her cases were all unsolved murders, oh. and I don't know anything about that. Mine were all going to be in missing, but I would say then you wanted to do one on Donnie Heron, which go ahead and explain yeah, was, why. He's mm -hmm. uh, a family friend. He lived with us for, I'm not sure how long. Okay. It's been a while, but um, he had a, um, I'm sorry, a, um, help me out. Home invasion. Thank you. He had, there was a home invasion, and he ended up getting killed in the process. Really? Yeah. So, um I knew the mom and watching her go through what she went through and not getting the help she needed. Um, it kind of, it bothered me. It actually, I called her and I was like, you know, I'm really like mad for you. Mm -hmm. Um, because she was just at a loss. She didn't know where to go at a standstill. You know, she needs to keep like all these other families and they need to keep their, name their family members names out there and you know that's 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 their goal mm -hmm. so um she's more of the reason why and she passed away uh last year oh, really? yeah i have her with me right here oh man that's but a... yeah so huh okay uh so it is it's more like trying to get media coverage our mm -hmm. own and, and then also getting the family's perspective on it because a lot of times when we were even looking at murdered cases you know, the article would just say something like so-and-so passed away or was murdered mm -hmm. and the 1700 block of whatever. And, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, okay. And so when we interview family members, you know, you, you, we get in a better idea of where, the, what they were doing, mm -hmm. you know, and, and not only that, but who they were as a person, yeah. Yeah. which is really important. I think to make sure that we remember they're not they just were, a victim. They're not a victim. They yeah. were a dad, yeah. an or actual mom. human being. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's how I feel sometimes when I walk into a Walmart. It's like I see all these missing kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I have no idea. Like, I, I, Granted, I'm not like watching the news all the time. But it's like, I mean, these are people up there right. who are missing. Like, what happened to them? Um, and also, you uh, started the program We Are The Voice. Hmm. That was for Donnie, too. That was for Donnie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that something you're still doing? Mm -hmm. I, it's kind of die down Dino. i don't know what to do with it right. honestly i don't know where to go from there or you know but you started it why though um it was for donnie's family friends a place where you know we could gather on the mm -hmm. you know on facebook um just to talk about him mm -hmm. you know and keep his name like i said and it was another idea i had to have his name just continually being right. said you know right. yeah so it just came to me one morning i guess it was like we are we are their voice or we are his voice so you know because they're not around so we have to be yeah yeah to kind of keep them so people don't forget right you know? right because it seems like and it's kind of weird too i kind of wanted to get your guys' opinions on this it seems like only certain cases gain popularity on new on the news mm -hmm. why do you think that is well, i was just talking about that i'm sure there's a lot of different factors but like if you could kind of like wrap it up into a couple that kind of come off you know off the top of the head like, i'm wondering if it's the odd story like you know the the mm -hmm. boy who just was found in the river um mm -hmm. i don't remember his name from Missouri. Riley. 
Yeah, I mean, that's an odd story, you know. Mm-hmm. it's I don't know if it's something that just catches people's attention. I've heard, like, odd stories. I've heard race can play a factor. I've right. heard looks can play a factor. Well, so, yeah. Sure. The, yeah. The beautiful yeah. people. I mean, yeah. if, if you're a really beautiful girl, let's just say, and mm-hmm. and they're missing, then, yes, you're going to be like, oh, my goodness. By age. Right. Things, but, you should mention age. And, but, yeah. yeah. Right. And age. Definitely the children. But yeah. But do all children though? I mean, no. you think no. that, that's the thing. It's yeah. like no. some of those missing kids I see at Walmart. It's like I don't know if I've ever seen them on Fox or News. Mm-hmm. So, but a lot of it is. I mean, family members have to be the biggest advocacy for their for, for their family. I mean, right. you have to hound. And, and some of those. And people I don't prob- mean it like those families aren't doing enough. That's uh-huh. I'm certainly not saying yeah. that. But you have to hound yeah. the media to get your attention. We have family members. Who who even now want to, and it's like they they'll they'll uh, reach out to the media. Mm-hmm. I want to talk. I want to talk. I, no. I don't have it. Yeah, I don't. I cannot tell and you. And you would why think that don't. would be probably the biggest stories they want to get out if they really want to be for the people, news right. for the people. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You think that would be the main priority? You know, right? They're going to be the ones that spread the stories. They're going to be the one that gains the eyeballs on this case. But you're picking and choosing. You're picking so, and choosing. But yet you'll run some of the same, like some of the shit I see on there. It's like, you've been running this story for a month now or a year sometimes because it gets clicks, you know. It's, it is. It's, it's exactly clickbait. clickbait. You know, yeah. It's like. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that's, I don't know. I think that's um, uh, very odd. Uh, in some of the cases that we talked about, um Going into oh, actually, hold on. I kind of want to back up real quick. Uh, the Dote Network. You said what? What is that? Can you explain that to me? The Dote Network is a volunteer organization that mm-hmm. concentrates on cold cases, missing and unidentified persons, and then also potential matches between unidentified bodies and missing persons are then submitted to law enforcement. Mm-hmm. So that is what I. That's I do that. Mm-hmm. And I seen there was like quite a bit. I don't know if I wrote that down or not, but there was like. 400 active missing persons cases and over 30 unidentified cases in KCS oh, in 2023. Oh, right, right. Exactly. I've seen on your guys' website, I yes. believe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and again, big. media coverage. I mean, do you, I, that's a lot of people. 400 active. That is amazing yeah. that you're, and, and again. Yeah. I mean, but like you said, I mean, even it, it sucks that the families have to really go out there and try. And I'm sure some of those kids probably come from homes that are not good. So, Maybe there's no try at all, but yeah, I mean, it just, I just feel like a good home or bad home. It's a human being. Let's get it out there and let's, let's get some attention. On and it, going you know? over that and getting rid of the, 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 I guess the stereotype too, though, if you're, if you're young and you're missing, oh, you're a runaway yeah. Yeah. or, or if you have addiction, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it's amazing how a lot of times mm-hmm. people don't want to help. Yeah. Even law enforcement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think sometimes they kind of get tied up because maybe all of the calls they get of missing uh, kids and they actually are runaways, like, and they end up finding them a day later, you know, they just were mad at mom and dad. And so do you feel right. like sometimes the workload, it becomes more of a job and they're like, ah, you know, we've already heard yeah, this before. Did- possibly. But I guess I also think that it's, it is your job. The occupation you should, you should it's, be putting that aside and, and do it, yeah, do what you're supposed to do. That's why you're hired. Right. So, I, I mean, it, I'm sorry that if mm-hmm. the law enforcement feels like, you yeah. know, we, we come across this a lot and they'll be found in a few days, but yeah. That's just do you think what maybe, you signed up for. Do you think maybe they just don't have enough people there to cover I would say everything? that's definitely, there is definitely not enough. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also think it's a lot just pushing off. Right. Pushing it off. Mm-hmm. I find that sometimes, and I know people will kind of get upset, but I feel like when you look at some, like, more of um, government type jobs, mm-hmm. there's like no accountability sometimes, I feel like. Because I think at the end of the day, they're all getting paid by taxpayer dollars. So I don't know if there's much of an initiative, I feel like, sometimes. Like, you know how everybody complains about the DMV? Right. Everyone's like, Jesus <laughs> right. Christ, I got to go to the DMV. It's, right. I just feel like sometimes, and I'm not saying everybody, so I'm not generalizing everybody in the same category. There's In the private sector, There's they deal with the same thing. 
I just feel like sometimes I just don't see importancy sometimes when it comes to government positions. That's politicians, that's police, you know, wh- whatever it is. Uh, there's a, quite a ha- handful of um, cases and stories that you see. You're just like, why is it taking so long? You know, so I don't know. I, that I mean, would be that. And I would say that, that you would hear that also from mm-hmm. family members of um unsolved homicides, mm-hmm. just getting a phone call from their detective. Jackie was mm-hmm. talking about that even today, that she's um, Alexis Accord's mom. Mm-hmm. She just, she wants a phone call from that detective. And there's hundreds of parents who feel the same way. Yeah. And you're just like, even if it's a phone call saying, I don't have anything new, uh-huh. but just, just hearing back. Uh, and I, I heard you say that on a case that like, they didn't even, I can't remember which one I should have wrote down more detailed, but they literally were like supposed to like go through the house I think it was a home invasion and they killed the father um, of the, the girl and the son were home. Is that Donnie? I think so. Oh, Donnie. Yes. Yeah. And the, they came and they think it was a setup. Like supposedly um, somebody may have kind of set him up to try to rob him mm-hmm. for drugs or money mm-hmm. or something right. like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like the police didn't even do like a thorough investigation. They kind of yeah. just came in, chalked it up as that and just kind of. Hit or, the road, and then it, should should we go with him all, on the way to the ambulance and in, in, in the ambulance? Yeah, in yeah case I heard the, that too. Because yeah. he has to say anything. Nah, mm-hmm. yeah, we don't need to take pictures. Is nah. it protocol for them if the pay, if the victim is alive to go in the ambulance? I don't know if it's protocol, but I think it's just smart. You Common know sense. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you would right. think. Yeah, like he's, if, if he's he, awake, let me try yeah, to get as much information he, as I he's, can. He's alive. You know, yeah. ask he's he's coherent. He's talking. Yeah, ask him the questions, but he's like, nah. No need. Yeah, that's sad. Have you guys at least seen some good, like, investigators? Like, or is it be- is it more outweighs more than... That's a very difficult question. Yeah. Um, I think it's because all these are unsolved, so it's yeah, hard I to guess find. Right. 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 And, and I... So, I guess that's true. There are solved murders, so mm-hmm. that's, that's wonderful. I think that every single family of an unsolved home, they want that outcome. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just, I, I mm. talk about it because I feel like everyone's kind of scared to press the issue, you know, and we shouldn't be, we should be holding mm-hmm. these positions accountable. You know what They're I mean? They're scared of They're making scared them mad. The, yeah. then they and then want yeah, to look into it. That is exactly right. it. Right. Yeah, right. There's right. been a couple people, I believe, yeah. you know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. You're I can understand you know? that. Yeah. Right. That's gonna... sad. You shouldn't Isn't have it? to. They're working for us. Right. You know, and, and I know they get upset when you say that. And I know I am not a detective. I'm not a police officer. I respect what you guys are doing, but I'm a person mm-hmm. with common sense. And if there's some things that aren't making sense, right. I feel like we should be able to ask questions, you know, mm-hmm. and be like, why did you know? I've seen them do it for this case. Why aren't you guys, are you just not good at your job? I mean, could, should we chalk it up to that? Oh, definitely I mean, with that, especially when the the family members are the ones that are going door to door asking for their, their yeah. ring footage yeah. or any yeah. of that. And you're like, mm-hmm. wait, they didn't do that. You yeah. know, the cops didn't do that. Mm-hmm. No. And you're like. Yeah. I, or the I, ones in that town you were talking about. I know we're kind of jumping ahead here, but no, that's okay. my, my podcast is so spider webby. It's, it's all good. <laughs> kind of like you guys' backdrop. That's literally my podcast. All, <laughs> all the red string. Um, oh, I just say. clapped. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, it like uh, the one where they uh, the, the guy was murdered out in that small town. And uh, do you remember that one? There was like a fight or something and they Alonso murdered Rose? him. Oh, I, I think be, so. It had yeah. to have been one of the ones you emailed right. me. Right. Um, but yeah, I think the family had to end up going out there and, and they mm-hmm. found, and they found and yes. do the search. Mm-hmm. Right. Like what? There's so many people <laughs> that search for him, never found him. And then, yeah. and then all of a sudden there he is. Yeah. Now that's right there. suspicious. Well, that's, yeah. that's going into right racial, there. that racial. Yeah. Yeah. Pro- yeah. Okay. No, we'll definitely get into that one for sure. Um, so what else? Like it, 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 I know, I know your guys' stories now. But is there anything else that kind of just like, I'm tired, like I, I want to, like what sent you into the podcasting side of it on YouTube? Like, you're just like, I want to get out here and highlight everything. And mm-hmm. You just felt like that it wasn't happening here in Kansas City? I don't know. If, are we just want to help? And I mean, without any, without getting anything back in return? Yeah. Just help wanting 
people to be able to the p- family members yeah use us mm-hmm. to get the story out there yeah i mean i guess it's not a really good no, answer I get for it. that because I, even even like even if you're not getting as much attention as fox 4 or like uh, case tv 5 or something still 100 200 500 views i mean that's better than zero that's right you know? yeah. so that's yeah. helping and honestly i always tell people it may seem small, but pack those people into a room. Mm-hmm. That's a mm-hmm. lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know, that's like basically you're calling like a meeting t- for the people who want to help. Hey, this is the case. Help us out. And how many cases have actually been helped by that? You know, like uh, people online doing their own personal investigations. I've seen some of them. Like even there was this one. It was the weird one. I don't remember full details on it, but. It was the one with the guy. He had a Netflix documentary with the cats. Do you remember that one? He was like killing cats, mm. and like oh, killing. Wow. Uh, um, ah, it's been so long since I've seen it. But there was like forums out there online, and like there was people like review because there was footage that he was putting out, and they were like finding the smallest of crazy? details, yeah. and like somehow triangulating like mm-hmm. his location. I was like, oh, my God, like these people, we need them in the police. <laughs> yeah. where, the, where the hell right? are they? Yeah. Right, know? right. But, yeah, it's it's insane, you know. But, uh, but yeah, so if if we could, I kind of wanted to cover uh, a couple of the um, um, cases that you guys have done. Okay. Um, the Donnie, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce any of their names. Uh, Heron? Heron? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, could you kind of give me a little just summary? We'll kind of go through couple of these cases and kind of just a small happened? breakdown. You yeah. You know, uh, that's the one where yeah. there or be was as a, detailed as you want, you know, we, we can be here as long as you guys like. Um, they were just coming home from a cruise and uh, I believe he was doing a drug run, you know, mm-hmm. picking stuff up and uh, the people must've known it. And I know they knew the family. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, there was a home invasion. Um, she said that she was uh, in bed with her son. And his his girlfriend. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. And uh, she was forced to make a phone call. They're like, where is he? And she's like, well, you know, he's he's not here. So they forced to make a phone call. And she couldn't like, you know, not even inkling of, of you know, clue of the, what's going on, you know. Mm-hmm. So he was just walked into it. You know, he was right yeah. around the corner of the gas station. So, you know, um, they came in and uh, he he didn't there's two other people i believe and he didn't lay down they just wanted him to like lay down give up the stuff but he wasn't he wasn't gonna do it so he fought he fought he fought and then they ended up having a struggle and mm-hmm. there was like killing. i don't know how many people two or three different you know people were shooting and uh, it's just um yeah, yeah and he, he was he was alive after you know he went down the hallway to make sure his family was okay and you know they were okay and um yeah, and that's when I, you would assume that you would have that um, interview with the, you know, or, you know, have the cops question him at that point, like mm-hmm. what we're talking about. And they let that that time go, you know, and you don't, you don't get that back. You know, I've heard cops say before that that beginning, that that first, mm-hmm. you know, moments are like the the key moments, you know, a pillow gets moved or, you know, I don't, it's kind of like a, like a missing child or missing person's case. The first 48 hours is like the most crucial. Right. And if but in like, that sense, if he's already shot, like mm-hmm. you've got mm-hmm. minutes to maybe hours, maybe if you're lucky. Yeah. You know? And he just so, didn't yeah. think anything was important enough. Uh, I think that was his first, um, Murder. The detective. Case. The detective's case. Oh, yes. so he was new to. But he wasn't really new. Right. But just you know, to de- yeah. just to detective wise. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, and I hate to think that you know people are bashing because I don't think that's what we're doing. I think we're just like combing through some of the things that we believe that were neglected, mm-hmm. and I think how they should interpret that more of it's like a learning lesson, constructive criticism. You know, um, I don't and. But egos start getting involved, you know, and everyone's like. And I don't think people knew about what happened. Yeah, they it's going like to be getting... up to those, you know, a few people that were there, you know. Yeah, no, but I mean, like the detective wise, it's like their egos get involved, mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, they kind of feel attacked, you know, when really yeah. it's more of constructive criticism, like, hey, you know, like this is a learning lesson, dude. Like if if you're going to at least give this man any type of respect who lost his life, do better on the next one. 
we don't want there to be next month, but we know how life is, you know. So, you know, you should you should look at that and be like, damn, we really messed up on that. Let's let's get better, you know. Unfortunately, I don't think they do because there were no because grand new cases. I mean, mm-hmm. the Alexis Accord and then um, Damian Northley. I mean, three. Because I don't, cases. I don't think anyone would have the guts to tell you know the top guy that hey you know you really screwed up. Yeah, that's who, if who's going to tell him? I say. Well, and then if you do, you're fearful, especially if you live down there, if you're going to be harassed. Mm-hmm. You know, that's mm-hmm. another thing, and you know, people like to think that stuff doesn't happen. It does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it does. Um, but yeah. Um, so in that case, I watched a little bit of, or I, I watched the whole thing, but. Thinking of trying to think about what happened, do you think like it was an inside job? I mean, because it just feels like to me like mm-hmm. somebody knew. Well, you know? yeah, because I mean, like they know they knew who they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they knew him. Oh, yeah, because yeah. his last words were he said that it was oh, be down the street, be down the street, be down the street. Right. B. So mm-hmm. be has a nickname, nickname be be mm-hmm. down the street. Oh. So. Oh, He's pretty so much the telling person you. lived down the street. Right. Oh, well, at least at one point, yeah. At one I, point. I don't think he it's did. It's a possibility. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cuz he must have recognized I, I the voice. I heard of the college uh somebody at co- was doing setups for a cousin of his. You guys talked about? Mm. On That's there? what Corinne was thinking that mm. then it might have been someone else. That it might have been a, the setup like somebody else doing the home invasions. But I kept going, but in my mind I would still think if if Donnie said it was B up the street, then I would really think that Donnie knew what he was talking about. Mm. Especially if you're good at knowing voices. I'm good at, I mean, hearing it and knowing it and, you know. Yes. And I know these are all just speculations. Right. right. No, it is speculations. Right. But, but, I mean, it's better than just ignoring the case at all. I mean, trying to figure out something because, I mean, it's, you know, they can go on for so long. You know, I had a cousin who passed away in a shooting. And it's been so long. I was like 16 years old at the time. They still haven't found their his murderer. And you know, and people know who it is. Know who it right. is. The streets Isn't that are. Crazy? It's not. They're not big. You know. I mean, Kansas City is kind of small, and people talk. You know. Mm-hmm. And especially in gang culture, you know, like people talk, and um, it's just sad to see his mother. You know, posting every year, hoping that somebody will give her some sort of justice and. Not, no one wants to know. talk. Yeah, and it's just like that lady said on one of your episodes. It's like the whole uh, snitching culture thing. Right, yeah. Like how people don't see, like, I mean, I don't even know. I guess when I was younger, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, you are you want to be cool. You want to be, mm-hmm. like, accepted by everybody, especially by your peers. You know, I hung around with a bunch of guys that just weren't not into any good. And But, man, like, I get it when you're older now. Like, you start to see through all that bullshit, Mm -hmm. and you're just like, man, like, that's somebody's child, Mm -hmm. you know, somebody's brother, somebody's sister. I don't think they realize it until they're living through it themselves, you know? It's like that street mentality sometimes. Like, that shit can take over you. It's like, becomes your culture, and you're just like, nah, I'm not going to budge. Like, you know who it is, but you're just like, if I rat, I'm going to be outcasted by my friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's just, it's... Or they were threatened. Or threatened. Oh, that's a big thing. Your mm-hmm. family being threatened and stuff like, mm-hmm. you know, or God forbid, like, you're like, man, I got to live down here. Like if I snitch, like, is anybody going to relocate me? Like, no. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do it then. I'm not going to be the one, you know, I still want to live my life, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I couldn't, it would be very difficult to be in that position. So I can't put too much weight on that person because, you know, the repercussions that come from, from it, I'm sure there has been people that have gone and testified and then have been harmed in the process, you know? So it's kind of a scary thing. But. Or what if it's someone like your husband, you know, what if your husband did it? Or your son. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that would I be hard. Yeah. I just say do the right thing. Yeah. Did you see that case when that pregnant girl got killed down in Texas? The pregnant girl and it was the boyfriend mm-hmm. who did it and the father covered it up for him. Did you see that one? Yeah. I, I again, I... I, like put, I would like to still think that I would do the right thing. I mean, yeah. I love my kids, but yeah. but it makes you think, though, don't it? It's like I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. It's like you know It'd what happened hard. to that that girl is wrong. You know what I mean? But sometimes we don't go, oh damn! Like, what if my kid was crazy like that and did that? Like, and because he's not crazy when he's at home, you know. Right. He's 
love your mom and dad. Like, and then I was just watching another one the other day, uh, a video of a 14 year old boy killed a teacher in the school bathroom mm-hmm. and put her body in a trash can, mm-hmm. took it outside. I don't know how nobody noticed this kid had blood all over him and shit. Like it was insane, but that's somebody's child, you know, and you don't, you forget to think about, like we, we forget to think you about, put ourselves in that, those shoes. Though, when that's like that crazy that you would that see that. It was like, you know, Oh yeah. Did he did signs? break the dog's leg. If you, you know, I mean, yeah, we couldn't keep the dog. In is the house. there always signs though? I, 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 would, I would think there'd yeah. have to be. Or do some people just snap? Like, was that kid psychotic that killed his girlfriend or was it out of some sort of rage in the moment of maybe she cheated mm-hmm. on him or something like that? I but know. I guess the brutality, I mean, it's oh, so many different factors. Like, because right, people sure. say the more gruesome it is, the more they probably had a history of right. abusing animals I or. I would think. Yeah. I would think. I don't know. I, I've thought about that. I know I have weird thoughts. I'm probably a <laughs> weird guy. But like, I just think I'm like, man, my 13 year old, like, what would I do? Like, I, like if she did that, it's like, of course, she's like, man, I want to do the right thing, but damn, I'm going to lose my daughter. You know what I right. mean? So it's like, really messes with my head, you know, when I think right. about stuff. I try to put myself in the, also the victim shoes, but also the, um, the criminal shoes as well, you know, like their mm-hmm. family side of it. Cause right. I've been to courts where you see the victim's family and then you see the person who's getting charged with the crime's family. Mm-hmm. It's just like a whole sad yeah. overall deal. You yeah. Know? There's like, no winners at all. Yeah. But then again, I'm like, you know, if that was my kid who was killed, like I'm going to be one of those guys on the freaking court. Jumping getting, over yeah, the yeah, table. Jumping over the fucking table, right, like trying to kill that guy. So, right. Yeah. It's sad. But mm-hmm. so on, on that case and on the Donnie case, mm-hmm. It's still open to this day. Like, they haven't been able to. Right. And the sad thing is, uh, when his mom passed away, she was his biggest advocate. Mm -hmm. And then I was there with her, you know, um, doing, I don't know, what were we doing? Um, Oh, fundraisers. Yeah, different fundraisers, trying to get money, you know. Raise Um, up the uh, reward. Right. Mm -hmm. But now she's gone. So there's no one really there to do it. Oh, and so this was the one that lived with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, you're trying to put all the pieces together. Here. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, okay. And what year do you remember? Like when that happened? Like how long ago was that? I don't remember the year. I'm bad. I know it's June 6th. 2016. 2016. Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. It's still like 2024. That's. Do you think that like probably that still person is still around? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, like here in this location, probably. Mm-hmm. 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 Be- and, and, I think they should go yeah. back and uh, interview his. Uh, I can't think. I'm sorry. Interview his girlfriend. No, the person that you used to like. No, I didn't do it. I was here with you. You're my alibi. alibi? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was like, what are you talking about? It is a little late on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they need to go back and question it. See what I have As to deal with? Right. Yeah, I, we need to get you I, an I, I, I'm just <laughs> I, I'm a, a new grandparent, so I'm I don't get no sleep. Oh, really? I work at night, yeah. Oh, and then I watch my grandparent my grandparents. No, I don't. Your grandchildren? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I bet they're keeping you up at night. Oh my god! <laughs> no, at least she does that part. My daughter does that part, but I oh, have to watch them the day. Yeah, Still a handful. they live with us, so it's Still a handful when they're there. Yeah, know. so I may not make sense sometimes. Yeah, you're good. You're good. That's good. Um, sometimes I repeat myself, so you'll hear me say the same thing over and over. <laughs> um, uh, there was another one too that I wanted to talk about the uh, Alexis Cord mm. one. Could you kind of give me? And that one, I, I would just like to say when you when you said that maybe give you a list of the cases, Haley and I had the hardest time because so they're many. all so important to us. I felt guilty. It, we yeah. felt we had guilt, like, but we but we have so many mm-hmm. that they're important. And but, what if they're watching and well, we didn't I mention people, their kids' I think name. people understand because there's only a short amount of time. time. And you guys are welcomed on whenever <sighs> you guys want. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be just now. Like we can come back on. You can oh. speak about it again. Like. But just to kind of give a, um, like a, like a preview type deal, probably right. a long word to use, but um, of what's going on, I just wanted cases that one, it's hard for you guys to remember all of them, right. especially with detail, right? You know, so I just wanted some that you were comfortable, comfortable with, with, yeah, that you could kind of go over, and then if next time you guys want to come on, 
bring we up can, some others. Yeah, we can write, you know, you guys right. bring your book or whatever you guys have of notes or whatever, and we'll, we'll talk about the other ones. Alexis so. Accord is important because she was the first, and I'll just say stranger. I mean, at least with Donnie, you knew Corrine. With Alexis's mom, Jackie, we didn't know her. And so with our first one, we would actually, like, she invited us into her home mm-hmm. and talked about, you know, the pain that she was going through. And that is also an example of we went into Alexis's case after we had read things in the paper that it was a drive-by shooting. Mm-hmm. And when we pulled up at Jackie's house, we realized that the driveway goes straight back. Mm-hmm. And the the car would have been, her, uh, Alexis would have been sitting in her car behind the house. So this isn't a drive-by shooting. This the Whoever shot her knew that she was sitting in her car. And only a handful of people knew that Alexis was sitting in our car. Mm-hmm. And I walked up. Yeah, in the rain and shot her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry that I cannot remember how many times. Five, six times. I remember times. the videos a lot. Yeah, it was a lot when I watched it. It was a lot. Yeah. And then they ran uh-huh. back to the so car. So what was she doing in the car? Listening to music and talking on her phone. Oh, okay. Just sitting in the car. Trying to get some privacy or something. Right, yeah. exactly. Just. Uh-huh. And so whoever did this. I mean, they knew, and they, you could see on the ring camera that they drove by and then drove by again. And this was in a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It was in Grandview. It was in a, Uh like a neighborhood, like where you live. Where I live. It would be just like that. So then you wonder, it had to have been someone who knew. I feel like that's Like on the the phone, the person on the phone with or whoever, you know what I mean? Possibly, yes. Well, I mean, because they had to know that she was out there right at that time. Possibly. And, and the anniversary of this is coming up. I mean, it was, I'm sorry, April... I want to make sure April 17th. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It's here. What next week? No. Yeah. Or here in two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. So, but yeah. How I, long, how long has that case been going on for? Uh, she passed in. I'm sorry. I'll have to look at 20, 2020. 2020. So if it's been four years. Yeah. Oh. And so how did that investigation go? Well, the, again, this is another one where the family ended up doing a lot on their own. Gathered yeah. the video. You Getting know. the videos mm-hmm. of it and the the ring and stuff. But mm-hmm. um, was there just not enough evidence to be able to do anything? Like, or, I mean, because I know some of those, like, random ones, it's, like, hard. It's, like, like I mean, I, I'm not a crime right. scene detective, you know what I mean? Like, one I of those say that CSI guys, but. I, I, I would just, from what I would feel safe saying is that. People have come forward, but they're, they're just needing a bit of the collaboration, making sure that things just fit correct, line up, line up right. Yeah. But um, I would say this is definitely solvable, and it's getting the people to talk. Mm-hmm. Like any, you know. Does, to does the forward. mom have any um, ideas? or? I think she probably has some, mm-hmm. wouldn't you say? I feel like most of the cases, they do know who did it. Right. So what do you think? It's just they don't have enough evidence to be able to come to the police and then actually be able to do anything. Right. Right. Okay. That is definitely right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, because it's, I mean, sometimes it's like if you don't have them on camera. Exactly. Because let me think about it. I could walk up and say, you know what? I did it. And how many people have been prosecuted for crime they didn't commit? That's true. I mean, there's that whole... uh, God, he goes on to Rogan's podcast a lot. Um, they do people who were uh, imprisoned for a crime they didn't commit. And like some of these people be in jail for 20 years on a murder they didn't even do. You know, mm-hmm. they just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. And But it also backfires too because I think he had just some guy on not too long ago. And I think that guy, they found bodies in his refrigerator. And he actually Dang. was let out of jail on a crime he didn't commit. Sorry. So It's not fun. So did he no. really not no, commit that one? Insane, I mean, yeah. that's I mean, he did commit the one. I, I think it was a different one, but maybe... <laughs> but he maybe committed 10 others. Somehow he got <laughs> off. I don't know. I need to look up the story. <laughs> that's right. the problem about me. I look at so much shit. I... If you're looking for me for details, I'm just going to give you a little notes and then go research it yourself. Right. So, like, I, I, I will not be able to give you all the details, but but that one was insane. I don't even remember that guy's name, but he was on the Rogan podcast and they, they said he found like, yeah, that's crazy. But, but yeah, so on that one, um, yeah, so that's insane. She's just out in her car, just chilling on her phone mm-hmm. and somebody just exactly right. Yes. in the middle of the night. 
Yes, like yeah. one one something in the did morning. Did no neighbors see anything? I no. mean, gunshots? I mean, multiple you gunshots? Know, they didn't even hear it, did they? The it, people in the I, house? Yeah. They did. They heard, but they didn't think. It was one of those, you hear it, but they don't. You yeah, don't like, necessarily that? think yeah. right that it would have to do with yeah. you. Like, no, and I get it. Like I, that's my sister that just got. We shot. had a gunshot go off in the back on the street over. I heard it because I was right by the door, the back door. But they didn't hear it. Anybody at my home, they're like, "What are you talking about gunshot?" I'm like, "Get into the back of the room because there's a guy jumping fences oh, running, and insane. he dropped a gun. A, what I thought was a gun. I don't know if it was. It looked like a gun. He was running, jumping fences, jumped into my backyard. I grabbed my gun. I go out into the backyard to make sure he's not going to kill my dog. And I just go, hey, get out of my yard, you know, Mm -hmm. while she's on the phone with the cops. And, I mean, they showed up, which I was surprised because usually in this area, they're here quick. But it took them about seven, eight minutes. I mean, by then, he's gone. Right. And, like, you know, what? in in that situation, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, like I want to stop this guy, but. What if it wasn't a gunshot? What if I was hearing something? Like, what if that wasn't a gun? I don't want to end up on the news, like, holding some guy at a gunpoint because I <laughs> thought he did, and then I'm going right. to jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. There's like, no. There's so many factors right. like that. And it's just like, if you make a decision, like, you could, like, mess your whole life up. You know right. what I mean? For something you thought. You know? mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, I could see them, like, you know, being in the house going, what was that? Well, did they you were asleep. I mean, and it was raining. And it was yeah. raining. Oh, it was and, raining and Jackie too. was sleeping. Yeah. I mean, it's mm. you sleep. Oh, yeah. some people think it's fireworks, you know? Right. Think about how many kids in neighborhoods throw fireworks out there. Shit, right. We get them right. all the time over here, you know? So there were no like eyewitnesses, like mm-hmm. just ring and, but mm-hmm. right. So did they not, like, a whole night went by mm-hmm. and then they found her? The person that she was on the phone with ended up coming over and then that's how they found her. Oh, because yeah, you're right. She was on, she was mid conversation on the was phone. Was she FaceTiming? I think it was FaceTiming, yes. And they came. And he never said that he seen anything? The person she was on the phone yeah. with? No, uh-uh. Just that she wouldn't answer back. Because like, oh, you would think if you're sitting here, you know, I've maybe, never... or, or maybe not. I mean, maybe he was yeah. at a certain angle or something. Unless it was in the middle of the night. Uh, I don't. I think he came up behind the car, didn't he? Oh, yeah. You couldn't see. Like, you're talking about the shooter? Uh-huh. Oh, no. The shooter was not seen on the surveillance camera okay no he means no, the on face the face time. Time. oh yeah no he wasn't but, he wasn't able to see anything no the person that it was a girl she didn't see she, but she seen her friend get I shot though don't no she didn't she just quit talking to her but you would think like if i'm sitting here like this jackie you know? never, i don't we were not i don't know if she just all of a sudden slumped over i mean i really don't yeah know. i don't th- i don't have I don't have that. I don't know that answer. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe so, that, maybe that might be maybe that might be something. That, well, I guess if it would have happened, she would have said something. Yeah. You know. So apparently, she didn't see anything. She did. I guess not. And yeah. I think that girl FaceTiming, she didn't know. She didn't the even people know that or know how to get there. I think she had to contact another friend, who I'm then where they were going to meet up like at Taco Bell and then head that way. You know. Mm. So it yeah. was something. Yeah, I was just I I just remember. The, f- the person that she was on the phone with quit g- mm-hmm. getting Alexis to respond to her. And then that's, she became suspicious. Right. So I, mean, I don't know if the phone was maybe sitting s- somewhere. Right. Right. So, right, right. yeah. Cause sometimes like, you know, I'll see some people like they'll be on FaceTime, but they'll kind of have it just sitting yeah. right like that. You know, they're just so used to talking on FaceTime, but it's mm-hmm. audio. So maybe that's what was going on. I don't, I don't yeah. remember that part. Oh. Yeah. So, so, and then you said that they had to do a lot of their work, uh, mm-hmm. investigation wise. Mm-hmm. So I mean, where does even a family start with that? Like you just kind of like Cause you, ask around, so like, have you heard grieving. anything? Can you imagine? Yeah. You don't get to grieve because Having you're to trying to your solve child. your freaking kid's case. You know, it'd be yeah. hard to do. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I know the one where uh, a neighbor who actually their ring camera is the one where picked up that the car had been parked there while the person the shooter yeah. got out they actually went up to the family to jackie the mom and mm-hmm. and said we have it the cops didn't even go to their house and ask oh, but okay. um i don't know i don't yeah. know how you start it, yeah. in doing your own i think it's just not getting the response you're getting i mean 
I'd be consumed. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Anyway. Well, I mean, I really hope they, they figure out that one. I mean, that's just, you know, it's tough. Um, and then there was another one, too. I watched uh, Lonzo Brooks. Mm-hmm. That one. You kind of want to give me a little backstory. That would that. definitely be racial. Yeah. Racially motivated. Um, that was the one out in the small town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. He went to a party out in the sticks and... Uh-huh. I think there's only like a couple of black people there. And I'm not quite sure of like, supposedly he was messing with some girl uh-huh. and then. Or just uh, talking with her, but the brothers. Yeah. That, that part, the, the actual, the why mm-hmm. is. You know, sometimes I don't know what information to give. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, do I give. Like the facts that you know, yeah. or because see now I was about to sit there and tell you what I thought happened, and I realized I wasn't telling you mm. the actual. You know, this is what they know. You know what I mean? This is, but because I can't, um, you know, um, give you my assumptions. You know what I mean? I, I think give what you feel comfortable with. If you just mm. want to stick to the facts, that's that's completely fine. You know, because I, I could understand why you would want to do that. You know, because then you start making assumptions, yeah, or like, you know, and then somebody you know calls you crazy for that or something. You know, I get that. You know, if you want us to stick to the facts on what what happened on the case, I'm completely fine with that. I might give my opinion, but <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Well, he he went with some friends and. Um, Two set of friends decided to leave and go get some cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And they were the ones that actually brought him. They end up getting lost. And then they call another friend that was there at the party. I don't know why. I don't know what gear that was. Alonso, I guess, didn't have his own phone. But um, he called another friend and he was like, hey, uh, we're lost. Uh, make sure you bring Alonzo home, you know. And by that time, they couldn't find him. And so everyone left leaving their friend behind. And leaving then, him, he didn't know anybody at the party except for the people who brought him. And then being in a small town, I mean, the, 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 when you're mm-hmm. one of the very few black people there, mm-hmm. and this is a sundown town. This 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 town's racist. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're still ass, but... Yeah. But... Uh, I'm sure it's safe to I, say that not everyone probably is, but there's not probably... Not everybody in that town yeah. is racist. There's probably racist you, people in that town. But there's... Yeah, yes. I understand. So, um, yeah, I'll probably get attacked for that part. But um, but when you... Saying. You're pretty much... When people know who probably did because this... There's a lot... Oh, sorry. Of, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> These mics are sensitive. They pick up everything. When, when, you, when you pretty much know who did it, mm-hmm. and then you, you... know, The town is... I. Yeah. Because I think, but I could see that too. They're trying to cover up, you know, because probably such a tight knit town, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so they're like, well, we don't want so and so's boy to one. get, you know, mm-hmm. arrested. You mm-hmm. know? So uh, he supposedly he was messing with some girl, someone's sister. They got upset and uh, beat him. I think obviously too much. I don't know if that was oh, the, was their intention. Mm-hmm. Oh god. I don't. Well, I don't. I mean, yeah. But um, I don't know if that was their intention to kill him, but they, they ended up killing him. And, uh, yeah, the family, they're, they're well known in the community and they knew people to help cover up. Mm-hmm. Supposedly there was police involved also. So they, they knew how to hide them, you know, where to hide them. Um, that's why, I mean, he was there in plain sight after how many different organizations came to look for him, you know what I mean? And they're like, we went by that spot. I don't know how many times, how was he there? And he looked fresh. So. And probably not thinking that the family was going to take the initiative to go out there and actually. I think that they, they probably finally was like, you know what? We need to put him back because, you know, obviously the family isn't going to quit. Yeah. So supposedly they, they had a freezer. I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, in the freezer they, and the, possibility they yeah. could have, you know, and then go. Oh, we yeah. Need, yeah, let's just Damn. let's just throw them out there, and you know. Well, that's the thing people need to think about. You know, you get into a fight, people can die. Yeah, you know, that's people scary, think that we can just have a fist mm-hmm. fight. You know, no, like not at all. Like somebody hits their head wrong, you know, or you hit them wrong, you know, or or all of you guys are jumping in. I just watched a video. Uh, Twitter, Twitter's just like, oh, you want to talk about getting bummed out. <laughs> Twitter shows everything. Um, they beat like this young boy into like a seizure, 
Like he was having seizures on the floor because they were just all stomping him out. Like, I mean, I've seen so many videos of that. Of He's just, like seizing in the process and they're still beating why him? Why they were beating him? I think they stopped and then he was still shaking. So I don't think they could tell. But, I mean, that's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen all the time. There was another one where, like, four girls jumped this girl, and they put her in a coma. That's really recent, right? Yeah, that's yeah. really recent. They hit. They were kicking or stomping on her on the concrete. That's insane. It's like, it's your brain, guys. You know, like, you're stomping somebody's brain. And what happened to brain. the one-on-one? Why does it have to be, like, six-on-one? You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's just like people – well, one, what it is – this has always been my biggest thing, and I'm sorry if I'm repetitive on this, but I think martial arts should be more of a play with uh, with kids. Like, it should be something implemented for schools, whether it be schools or recreational, like outside. I think it'd be better to put it in the schools just because everybody has to go to school. And I think what people think is that with martial arts, it's going to make my kid more aggressive, but it's actually going to do the opposite, you know? And I'm not going to say... Everybody does, but I would say a very high percent of people, it's effective on letting that aggression out and making them more humble and getting rid of that ego and uh, creating a better person. You know what I mean? Because you're not walking around trying to, I'm the tough guy. You know what I mean? Like I have to prove this or especially with young males, like just that energy that just builds up in you and you got to have that release. I mean, why do we have sports? Why do we have football and all that stuff like it's a way to let that energy out, you know, and because if you let that build up, I mean, we even see that even in adults like that are just like, like in these big cities like New York or even, you know, go downtown. Everyone's honking at each other and pissed mm. off and just aggravated. And, mm. you know, we've all done it, mm. you know, but if you have somewhere to kind of let let that energy out, I think it's very healthy, you know, uh, I'm not saying it's the end all be all solution, but. I think with kids especially, it would help a lot. And it would teach them that, hey, I could hurt you really bad if I hit you or if I whatever to you. Like, I should probably be careful, you know. Or is this really even a big deal? Like, I got to go train. I got to go to class today. Like, I don't want to fight this guy. You know what I mean? Like, it, you'll start thinking differently, you know. And then it gives you purpose and stuff like that. Like, like even in some, like, certain areas, like, they'll open up a boxing gym for youth that don't have – access to sports you know like uh community uh donated programs you know that stuff i mean look at all the stories on that look at all these boxers that come out and say boxing saved my life mm -hmm. you know i mean i think if we looked at that more i think that would help out a lot you know and especially that like you said that fighting one-on-one -on -one deal or mm -hmm. uh, not one-on-one -on -one, i think that's why they do it because they don't know how to fight and they're scared and all their friends want to help out and jump in and that's my friend you know so mm. i don't know but what do I know? <laughs> I, I think it would, though. I really think it would. But yeah, it's yeah, it's just crazy. Like Twitter just shows just a bunch of bunch of stuff out there. Actually, I think it shows stuff that should be shown on the news. But that's my thing. You know, I'm everyone's like, well, why would people want to see that? Well, I think people are a little too coddled and a little too like, let's nerf the world. Like, no, you should see. This is what happens if this scenario happens. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one, and I hate to be very graphic with you guys, but I figured you guys would be the two that could handle it, you know, <laughs> with what you guys talk about. But there was a lady, uh, I can't remember, I think it was in Mexico. It just happened recently. She was involved with the kidnapping of a kid. And I might get the details wrong on this because this just happened like a week or two ago. And I've only seen a little bit. But the video I seen was the community came out and like they found her and they beat her to death like in their town. And I know that's like hearts pulls on the heartstrings of people. Like that's too violent. That's crazy. But that woman was involved in a kidnapping and death of a child. Yeah. It was somebody's kid. Mm -hmm. And you can see the rage and the hurt by those people. Cause I'm sure the way I was seeing them, seeing watching them beat her, like they must've been relatives to that child or mother, father. I don't know. Because, I, I mean, watching a grown man beat the crap out of a woman is like, kind of like, oh, shit, like, that's messed up. Like, But I'm like, that must have been her dad or her uncle or something because he was beating the crap out of her because he was like out of, like, not passion, but like just hurt and anger. So 
I just hope they got the right one. Can you imagine? Like, oh, shoot. That's another thing. It was your sister. Yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not lying. No, that is true. Because Sorry. they get the wrong person, you know? Like, and, and that could happen. You better hope they at least had her on video or were like, sure, like she confessed to it or something, you know? But even then, that's interrogations we've seen those how many times have we seen when people have confessed to not doing yeah lying there was a famous one my wife was telling me about it not so long ago that i don't know about famous but it was one where like they made this guy think that he murdered his girlfriend or something Mm -hmm. and like because they interrogated him for eight hours but then again though i'm like you can leave me in that interrogation room for eight hours. I am not confessing you would to think murder. Not, but I guess if you just if you can do those mind games on you, hungry, you get hangry, you're oh, tired, yeah, yeah. and you just say all you have to do is just say this. Yeah, and it all can go away. And all go away, yeah. and you're like, okay. I mean, you're right. I wouldn't think that I would do it either. Yeah, I don't know. I, you can start me for three days. I'm not I going guess, to prison for life. <laughs> I guess if you just, right, I don't know. I, I guess I wouldn't know unless I was in that position. But I get but what you're saying, yeah. I, but I wouldn't think that I would confess yeah. to something I wouldn't have done in yeah. either. And then they're drilling them, playing mind games yeah. on them and stuff. And because like, they can lie to you. That's just amazing cop, to you. Cop, yeah. Cops can lie to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, they can. I know. <clears throat> and it's okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just anyway. sign here. Just sign here. Say, just sign it. Say you did it. Yeah. Doesn't mean you. Doesn't mean. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. And it's probably hard for them too investigating. They're probably like, man, we deal with so many people that say they didn't do it and they did. Yeah. You know? And so you're, dude, I don't know, man. I, don't, I couldn't do that job. You know? Like, cause mm-hmm. I'm sure, like, cause I'm sure they, and I'm sure people think that we're just bashing on them. And trust me, we're not. Because I know, like, they're dealing with the fucking worst of the worst, mm-hmm. you know, day in, day out. I get it, you know. But, uh, so I, I really couldn't. I don't know how they, you know, because we're looking at it from a different perspective. They're actually in the moment. We're mm-hmm. looking at it maybe a couple of months or a year after or a couple of weeks. So when all the information comes out and then we're going, why didn't they see that? Well, it's like, well, I'm watching the documentary. So yeah, I kind of exactly. know more than them right. at the moment, you know right. what I mean? So there was like one on Netflix. It was about the uh, weirdo that uh, freaking um, he kidnapped that girl. And like uh, they made it seem like it was her fault. They actually had a movie about it, I think. Did you see that Netflix documentary? I just I watched it. It was like so. in California. They like get they, so two people came in. It was like a home invasion and they took the girl and they blamed the boyfriend okay. for it. And uh, she ended up. Uh, just like days later, walking. Oh like, yes, okay, yeah. Came back. I don't mm-hmm. know what case that was. They called it. Uh, it was some weird dude that was like a peeping tom kind mm-hmm. of thing. But so they all said that she lied, and mm-hmm. come to find out, no, she was raped mm-hmm. multiple times in that cabin or whatever he mm-hmm. took her to. Yeah, I mean it's just like, uh. Yeah. Okay. I watched that one. Sorry. It took yeah. A little bit of, yeah. No, I know. There's like so yeah, many out there. It's kind of was... sad, actually. If you think about it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one was insane. Yeah, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so the Alonzo Brooks ones, uh, Brooks. Uh, so what happened after all that? Like the family went out there, and he they did, and the uh, FBI ended up getting involved, and then said that yes, it was. Uh, oh, the oh, FBI oh, well, got involved. It took, took until like a year, or two years ago, to finally say it was a it was murder because they're going to say he uh-huh. drowned. Oh. And so it wasn't a, 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 a homicide investigation. Mm-hmm. And then the FBI ended up getting involved. And then they're like, no, he was murdered. Wasn't it because it was on um, Unsolved Mysteries? Yes. It was on and a, that's the reason why all of a sudden they looked at it again. Yeah. 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 But See, that's what it takes, you know? But mm-hmm. it's, but no, it's, it's not, it's, it's an unsolved. And How does Unsolved Mysteries pick that up? Like, do they? I don't know what made them decide. I'm sure to do they that pick one. and choose too, like, because they can't air. I'm sure all, I mean, that would be a ton of work. You know, right. Sure just, I don't know how, what made them pick that one up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, don't I wonder know. if they just like somehow just like, okay, like this one, I guess maybe like you said, interesting. Yeah, it's or odd. Like because story, I mean, to yeah. have him show up like what, almost a month later and your body be all fresh and like, where that, where have you been? You know? Oh. Is that what happened? Mm-hmm. A month later, it was, was it still. I thought it was a month. Yeah, about a month. Yeah, and there he is laying, and they try to say that he drowned. I mean, so when they keep it in like a freezer or something. That's what. That's, that's the what. Yeah. That's what. Our F. The, we, we had um, 
interviewed someone who we had to hide their face because they had spoken with the FBI mm -hmm. numerous times that, yes, that they think it's in, in a freezer. Uh -huh. And so what did the FBI come up with? I don't know why they don't have enough information. I don't know. To, I, to get this one solved. I hear they have something, but they just I, I, need okay. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's always just a little bit more, isn't it? Just, but, I, yeah. Yeah, Again, I, guess, I guess that's kind of a hard one because there's probably no cameras. No. I mean, what type of evidence are you going to look for out there? I mean, I don't know. I've seen some of those CSI guys. It's like they somehow find hair and sperm everywhere. I don't know. I don't understand that. <laughs> like they're always finding it in the <laughs> most smallest of places. It's so weird. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, here's this. And they'll pull it out of like a, a little fiber out of the, the damn carpet. But. Uh, but yeah, man, so it's like, I, I don't know, what would they do? What it happened out in the field, right? Or mm -hmm. some shit? Happened so out like, like in their, their driveway. Yeah. So what, what are they, I guess they're all, he say, she say, that's all they can kind of go off of. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't think there's many people, up. everyone was pretty much gone, I believe at the party at that point. And it was just the family friends that were left and mm. just trying on them. Yeah, that sucks. Well, yeah, I mean, it's. You know what really what sucks, though, is that he went with friends, and you would think at least your friend would help you get home. Didn't you say, didn't I hear that he, they left him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they just thought he was going to be all right in a town? I think they all thought, like, he must have went home with someone else. Uh, I mean, they, they couldn't find him. Right. Okay. I guess it's But just, how do you not find don't, him? Don't he, leave he your friends. He would have been, friends. like, sticking out like a sore thumb. I mean, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, he's, what, one of three? So, I mean, I don't Who know. Who knows what you're thinking at that moment, I guess, you know? Maybe they just knew, like, oh, so-and-so went on with the girl or something like that. Like, you know, we're not yeah, going to bother him. I was, all, I was all thinking, like, what if he was gone with the girl somewhere else, like in the barn or something? Uh, oh, we can't uh, find him because he's busy with the girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then the family is, you know, known racist family. Uh -huh. And so she can't sit there and say, hey, yeah, I just slept with this guy, you know? He raped me. Ooh. Because maybe, yeah, maybe she got caught or something or like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But see, there's, that's my the, assumption. See, that's where I go. That's, you know. My that's an assumption. assumption. That's not. Yeah. No, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. And we're not here. We're not investigators. You know what I mean? I mean, you guys are I should be. more than I'm I am. Kidding. Yeah, you guys are no. more like. I even see you guys out on the scene. Yeah. Like, you guys actually travel to the scenes and Sometimes. stuff like that? Sometimes. It's whatever to get your attention. Yeah. Even if it's yeah, because I seen you out like on the, on the highway. I was like. <laughs> So it's like, oh, like, holy shit, she's there. <laughs> she's right there. there. Yeah. All the people didn't like yeah. that because, you I know, heard, that yeah. particular spot, you, you're only there for one reason. Right. And, and everybody knows everybody. locals did yeah. not like yeah. that. Oh, that they were yelling. It oh, took us they? two days. It took us two days to do just a five-minute scene. What are they yelling? I don't know. Get out. And just, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to solve somebody who died. You know, like just... a human being lost their life <laughs> yeah. here, you know, uh, and you're just... Yelling at me, right? Like, no, they just don't want to say we're outsiders. Yeah. Outsiders. Yeah, it's like, what if it was your kid? You know, like, right? People are ridiculous, man. But that's what I'm saying. We're so desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. It's like that's why I think it should be shown. Show everything yeah, out no, there on the fucking that. news. Like, you should see it. Yeah. Does it suck that like kids could possibly get? They get all of it now. All these kids got phones. They're seeing the worse shit than when mm -hmm. we were growing up. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so it, it, to to say, oh, we can't show that on the news. These kids got TikToks and stuff. Like they're seeing all of it. Like, right. Come on now. Like if it, how many of these? You know, you know, I try to uh, monitor my daughter's phone the best I can. But do I know she's probably looking at some stuff? <laughs> she's probably yeah. I was when I was young. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we were probably looking at, even on the TV. You know, and but I really think it should be shown. I, th I think people would um, maybe not just look at it as oh somebody else died. Like like as if it's no big deal. Like maybe it would um, give more importance to it. You know, mm -hmm. but, um, there was another one, uh, the Kamani, Kamani one. Oh, Kamani mm -hmm. Pencil. Yes. Yeah. We had, um, oh, that one was, um, his, his cousin wanted us to, to go to the scene where his body was found. Mm -hmm. And that one was interesting because as we were leaving, um, a neighbor who lived on that dead end street started talking to us, but she didn't want to be on camera. 
but we were able to like record the ground. Right. And then she comes up with all this information, like that he was still that that he when he was dumped, he was still alive. I mean, he he was dumped alive, mm-hmm. and all this and the stuff, and that she had never even been questioned by police. Um. So we were able to get the police to actual actually like watch our video. So. And, that was pretty interesting. That was really cool. Yeah. How, how does that work? Did she give consent to that? Or like, how does that, how does all that stuff work? Did she give consent? She was, she gave permission for us to. For the audio. For the audio, but not to be on it. Okay. Because I know that stuff's like the legality sides to it, I'm sure. Right. Like, you got to be real careful But with then that. when she was like telling us everything she knew about it, and then I'm editing it. And we're looking at the stuff that we know. We realized she knew a lot of information that was not public. Mm. She knew more than she was saying. So it's just very... I think she was one of the ones that found him. And mm-hmm. that it, our and, opinion, what, and what happened to him? He was out with friends celebrating his 18th, his birthday. And he was dumped on a dead-end street. He was shot. Yeah, for what? Do they know? No. Nope. Just shot and left for dead. Yes. And he was with his friends. We don't know what happened. And the friends won't come out and speak about no. it. No. Hmm. Uh. Uh-uh. Hmm. That's that's messed up. Mm-hmm. Does a lot of these where friends are involved? Yeah, and they just too scared or just don't want to be involved. I guess to come. Or out. I mean, they're the ones that usually with that one. It. But his cousin right. Arkina has a, actually yeah. said that we <clears throat> necessarily think that a friend did it. We just don't know because they're not talking. Mm. So, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that one's... And that one's still open to, to this day? Yep. Man. And they don't have any, like... Like, how was the investigation done on that one? I mean, was it pretty thorough? I mean, was there just not much to go off of? I mean, usually a transfer, you think of a body, too. Like, they would... Is there a vehicle? Like, a license plate? Mm-hmm. Or... You know, something. Sometimes they even pull the fibers from a car, like off the person's clothing or something. I, uh, I, I, from what I understand, they're going to start looking into DNA after all this. I don't know if they've actually done it, but the Marquina was told that they were going to start looking into DNA. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how, for, how, how, how the progress since we've, since you covered it, since we covered it. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, yes, you would think with cameras that you would have seen a car, mm-hmm. the known the details of the car. When was that? Do you remember what year that was? Uh, Kamani was in 2008. Ooh, that was a while ago. Yeah. Were oh, any of the friends yeah. questioned? I thought we didn't think that they had been. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. No, it's one of those. That's yeah. crazy. But they were it? there. Right? <laughs> Right? Yeah. The people you were with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe were they, were they minors or were they under 18 or? I think it's just a matter of people not doing the right thing. Right. And we hear that with almost every case. And for a friend too. You know what Wouldn't I mean? Wouldn't you want to? I think some of those people too, like I'm sure when they get older, I'm sh- the, the weight on their shoulders at some point has to give. And they're just like, I got to tell somebody. But by then it's like, it's too late, dude. It's like 30 years you know, like, what are you going to do now? You know? I don't know. But that's always what we're hoping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Always just hoping that just, just someone, again, yeah. comes forward. To give forward. somebody closure. Because could you imagine losing a child and not having any closure? No. Like, I, I've never, like, even the the famous, um, the guy from America's Most Wanted, uh, Matt, Matt Walsh or mm-hmm. whatever his name was. Like, I remember watching, my mother watched America's Most Wanted all the time. And... I remember when she told me the story about him, you know, his kid getting kidnapped and like just ever, or did they find? Beheaded. Right. Yeah, right. It was that one. Oh my God. No. But like, okay, so that's horrible. But even imagine some of the people who just never find them at all. Like no one ever knows whatever happened to, what's his name? Son. We never, 30 years later, never found him. No, there's a lot of, I, I could tell you there's, yeah, Kansas City has a lot of missing people. For some cases. I've heard, <laughs> and I'm going to get the numbers so wrong, but I remember watching a movie one time. It was like based off a true story. There's like hundreds of thousands of missing people yearly. 
mm-hmm. yearly. Like, mm-hmm. where the hell are these people going? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's insane to me, man. Like, mm-hmm. and are all of them dead? Are they being trafficked? Because that's a big one too. I remember watching a, I remember watching a case or listening to a case on Sword and Scale, and th- I was telling you guys earlier when we were talking off off the mic uh, before we started. Uh, the kids ones just mess me up, you know, Mm -hmm. but they're the ones that hit me the most is because I feel like they're the ones and not saying adults don't have voices. The one, the victim, adult victims, but kids, especially like so just innocent and pure, like they're children, you know, and these people are taking advantage of them. And I remember watching a sword and scale one and they were talking about like sex rings for Mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm children and there is actually like like these um i don't know what you want to call them like organizations or meetings but like elite people and i know people are gonna be like this guy's going down his conspiracy route but it's not because we've seen this happen um even that one movie that just came out um Everyone gave a bunch of shit for it. I can't remember what it was called. I just watched it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. I don't yeah. remember the name of it, but I watched name. it. I didn't this know. Friday is not working with us here today. <laughs> dude. Uh, sometimes I just like have blanks, but it was a good documentary. It was on the Underground Railroad. That's the organization it was on. But uh, but yeah, they were busting huge rinks with like 50 children and stuff like that. Like, uh, But these, it was down in Texas. These guys are flying in and they would sit in a um, like theater or whatever type scenario. And they'd have kids walk across and they had numbers like a necklace with a number on it. And these rich people would bid on them Mm -hmm. like a a human being, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's, it's crazy to me that like some, like this shit goes on. Like, and and so when I see missing people, like, and especially when I see how many kids, it's like, that's kind of where my mind goes. It's like, it's got to be something like that. You just hear about it too much and just horrible. Like, um, like just all the stuff that I've seen, like, especially just the, the, the kid stuff with the, I don't know, just all that stuff, man. And it's just, it's just, it, I don't know, just sad. I, I actually put a video out not too long ago on my, on my Instagram and it was like an ice cream man, like guys. And they were like doing, um, like, what would you do type scenario, but like with kids. So it was all set up. But they were like, the ice cream was like, hey, do you want to come in the truck? And like, you know, I got some other ice cream in the truck. Do you want to see? And these kids, like, even some of these kids that like, no, like their parents were like, why? We talked to them about this. Like, in the moment, everything seems to just go out of their mind, you know? Like, they're or you kids. Just, you don't want to offend an adult. I mean. Because what do we teach our kids? Be respectful be to respectful. adults. Be respectful. And yeah. like, it's like you think, I shouldn't do it, but. But I don't want to make him mad. Right, right. And that's one thing, like, I changed because I started that way, like, respect older people, you know, blah. But now I teach my child, I'm like, respect who respects you. If you feel something weird, don't care how you offend them. You know what I mean? I'd rather you piss off somebody who is actually nice because you got an odd feeling than have you kidnapped and I'm having to freaking search night and day for you. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. because I can't be around her all the time, you know, like... If I do that, she's going to hate me for like, you know, if I put a ball and chain, like you're never leaving the house, you know, right. like I can't, you know, you're going to have to go out. You're going to have, you know, I just want you to be smart about I your decisions. Put chips in the, my grandchildren, right. <laughs> you know, because how easy is that? Yeah. Give them like a, like I, I've actually seen, I, I know I'm weird, but I've looked at like microchip necklaces and like yeah. little keychains and stuff yeah. to put on them. You yeah. Know? I actually thought, cause we could use what the, you know, those yeah. little things that you put on dogs. Yeah. I thought you I was like, you're your lucky kid. we haven't found any like. <laughs> Injectable ones because I would definitely put one in your wrist so I can find you. you know? I don't see anything wrong with it, but that's me being paranoid at yeah. this point. You know, I know. Because well, think about it, you guys watch so much of it. Yeah, and know? I'm like, okay, that Samantha's missing. Well, why? Why didn't you just put her on like like that 360 thing and see where she's at, or you know, whatever mm-hmm. it is. That... But how many times do probably all their belongings get dumped and then? Yeah, know? sure. Yeah. Do you think that kind of messes with you watching all this stuff? Definitely. Yeah. Cause it's yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I think about it. How do you, how do you kind of just get away? Like, I'm sure you have to like, I need a breather, you know, well, that's do you why take I, some time off. I had to take two months off. Okay. I went to a, it was too much. Mm-hmm. It, I told Haley, I go, I'm sorry. I know that we don't have, I know the, what 
the, the sadness I feel is nothing compared to the family members. Right. But and that's what kind of made me feel bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is because we can turn it off, you know, and mm-hmm. we can take a break. But these people can't. You know Every what I mean? So day, how do I constantly? Right. So I feel guilty saying I had to take two to three months off from filming any episodes because I couldn't do this. I mean, I want to do this. I don't want to quit doing mm-hmm. our podcast, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I don't think you should. I don't think you should get on yourself for that because, no. I mean, you're a human being, too, with and emotions. Like, and I know we're just this little thing. I didn't want to try to make us seem, like, overly important. I no, don't want to. No, <laughs> Or egotistical. Or... You are, though. Trust oh, me. Oh, look yeah. at us. Mm-hmm. We're going to solve it all. I'm not at all trying <laughs> to, to do I'm, that. I'm hoping yeah. list one. I mean, yeah. I'm... No, but, but you have one. it's just... <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And yes, when you actually are inter- and when it's an episode where we interview a family member and I'll oh, do the Damien Norfleet one where he died in his father's arms mm-hmm. and you're editing it and you're listening to what happened to him for four or five hours, mm-hmm. you I'd have to stop and have to go to the bedroom and I'd cry. Mm-hmm. And you can't help it. These people become a part of you. Um, they do. Mm-hmm. I care for these people. And I know, and again, I, I know that's just that, whatever. But that dad said, I, I held him to welcome him into the world and I held him as he left. And that's, but I think that's better than just not caring at all. You know what I mean? Because how many sure. people just bat an eye and they're just like. No, I don't know how people whatever. can. But, I don't know how. So when you say that you're not important, you guys are though. Because you guys are doing more than what everyone else is doing. You're giving a voice to those who don't have a voice right now. And especially like the families too. Like the families, they're, they're hitting a wall where they're like, no one's listening to us. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if you have some channel with a million subscribers. Like I said earlier, you're at least trying. And if we all were able to come together and at least try a little bit, especially like if, if, if we were to stop looking at as like a Kansas City as a whole, if the crime occurred in that area, if a hundred people in that uh, radius helped out, you know what I mean? Whatever they could, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying you have to go and like, you know, investigate it, you know, like, but at least help in some manner, Mm -hmm. you know, if you've seen something or maybe helping the family cope or whatever you can do, you know, bake them a cake or whatever you can do, a nice gesture, you know, just care more. Just care more. And nobody does. No, because know? I had no idea that there were over 700 unsolved. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I had no idea that there were over 700 unsolved murders in Kansas City. Mm-hmm. And when we would do, we did a, um, a, a, a passing out flyers. And it's amazing to me when we were sitting at a stoplight and you're trying to hand it to, to people and they don't want it. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking... Just take the damn flyer. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, if you want to throw it away when you get home, do it. But when you're sitting here telling people that you don't want a flyer, that really offends me. It really offends me. At least give it a chance. Just take it. Yeah. Because this could be your child that's murdered. Yeah. I mean. Nobody mm -hmm. knows until they're put in the shoes of that other person. Right, Mm -hmm. right. And I just. So, yes, it amazes me how there isn't more compassion. Yeah. I think we're losing that sense of community. I think that's going away just, you know, every decade that goes by, I think it's just more and more dwindled down, you mm-hmm. know, and especially how immersed we are into technology. I think technology is benefiting in a sense too, because we're able to reach more people through that, but we're kind of disconnecting person to person, you know? And are we like getting numb, you know? Because we're seeing so much? Yeah, I mean, Maybe. like the mass shootings, you know? Oh, look, another mass shooting. Yeah, I guess that kind of goes, I guess that could contradict what I said, showing everybody that could numb everybody to it. I don't know, numb, but maybe create more awareness. You know, I I don't know. And on the mass shooting part, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to take away uh, how horrible it is. I do know, like, uh, percentage wise, I know it's a lot, lot lower percentage than murders occurring daily, you know, especially in Kansas City. What do we got? Like, I think on the books, like every year, it's like 180 homicides or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, and less are solved. Right. So then you just, you, they just keep piling up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's insane. And I know a lot of them are, uh, well, I know a lot of the, like, 
well, murder wise, I know that's different. I think deaths is what I was looking at. I can't remember what the number I was looking at. I know quite a bit of more suicides because I know that number kind of gets misconstrued by people, but uh, suicides and then a lot of uh, drug and crime related. We have uh, a lot homicides. of suicides. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, gun deaths, actually, over half of the like actual gun deaths are actually suicide. I think it's like really 60 something percent are suicide. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I actually had that written down. Uh, Koyan Noir talks a lot about that. If you guys ever want to follow him, you should check him out. He Who? talks a lot about Koyan Noir. He's a lawyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, he talks about a lot of that stuff because uh, people like to play on the gun statistics a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. And actually, if you break it down and look at it, uh, over half of the percentage of gun deaths is actually suicide. And mm-hmm. people think that it's more of mass shooting and, you know, uh, murders and stuff like that. It's usually, they say, I wish I could remember the statistics off my head. You can actually look it up. There's a website. um, It's called like something nation gun stats or something like that. Gun death stats. But if you look that up, you'll see that over half are suicides. um, A majority of them are drug and crime related. And then I think that's kind of what they chalked it up to those two. But it'll break it down for you. Even if you go to the Kansas City like Kansas City uh, death stats or some shit. I, I'm so bad at hmm. remembering this stuff. I need to write this shit down. Um, I mean, it, literally, you go into Google and just type in Kansas City murders, and it'll have, like, pages of statistics. It'll break it down race. It'll break it down age, gender. Even some of them that were figured out, uh, they'll break it down by what weapon was used. You know, I was surprised to see there was, like, three deaths with a knife. Or, like, there was one. By suicide? No, no, no. Oh. By suicide. This is uh, all of it. Yeah. That, this was actually murders. This one was. Okay. But, but yeah, no, suicide by knife. Jesus Christ. Like, I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody out there. But. Kamikaze? Yeah. Yeah. He ain't lying. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, is that not a, is that an airplane? No. I don't know what is that. Oh, yeah. Kamikaze <laughs> is an airplane. Oh, <laughs> And this can't be edited out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm sure somebody going to get a laugh at it. Uh, well, that's another uh, thing, too. She's a moron. No, because I know that it's probably difficult to probably mix, like, funny. and Because like, I noticed you guys do it on your show. You oh, guys do a little bit of funny. We offend people. Do you really? Yeah, but we're not laughing at the victim. No, you're not. We're laughing at, actually, the person who did it. I mean, more like you're laughing. Being dumb. Or, but or, it's probably your guys' character, too, to be funny and, like, you know, try, mess but, around and stuff. But that's the only thing I think we've ever been attacked is... Um, I didn't edit it out a or, laugh. Or else we're faking who we are if we're not like, yeah. this is how we are, you know? Yeah. It's but, like with me. Yeah. I have serious conversations, but I crack a joke here and there. I just said mm. CSI always finds sperm in some type of hair somewhere. <laughs> right, like, right. is it not true? Like, right. look at this, all those, you know, investigations, mm-hmm. you know? But it, I feel like, I mean, it, with something so dark, and I don't mean to offend the families, not at all. I don't think we've ever. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's never it's, been families. Yeah, it's, it's just like, been. But it with so much dark. There's got to be some sort of, not necessarily light, but I mean, shed a small like humor of light, like just to break away from how dark I think it really is. Mm-hmm. You know, and also if they want to show that's maybe more serious and. Go find something else. You ain't got to watch that one. You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just scroll on. This by. is your thing. You're taking your time out to do this. Mm-hmm. You should be able to do it the way that mm-hmm. you're content with doing it every mm-hmm. time. Because you guys know. I mean, it's recording, editing, all that stuff. I mean, it's a lot of hours invested into it. So mm-hmm. if you're not enjoying it, the show's probably going to go away after a while. You know. Mm-hmm. But and that's the beautiful thing about podcasts too is that there's so many out there. You can check mm-hmm. out our different one. Mm-hmm. You know? Like I was telling you guys, that there's a Sword and Scale podcast. If they want, even him though, he's a really dark one, and he still cracks a joke in there every now and then. I, I think it's just to break up, like I said, how dark it is. You know, right? So, which I I know it's hard to explain. I'm sure some people don't get it, but you're not going to be able to please everybody. Mm-mm. So, yeah. um, the next one I was looking at, uh, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, a one that happened. You know, I know all of these were here, but. This one kind of hit me. I know it was the same around the same time my daughter was born. Uh, my wife was telling me, and she's the one who kept track of it a lot. Uh, Lisa Irwin. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys are, did an episode on that one too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I remember coming out of Walmart, like seeing the Lisa stickers on cars and stuff like that. One, 
how did that one why do you guys think that one gained so much attention it's because of how young the baby was i would say it's we hadn't had, had something like that here yeah in that's the city. one of those where i swear my baby was there when i went to sleep and poof you know mm-hmm. how does that happen you know yeah. what i mean yeah that's kansas city's big missing big one i mean i get yeah. it. i hate saying it that way but I mean, it's like that. No, I, I get it. It makes me paranoid to the point that I never open the window or, you know, you know, you leave the op- window open yeah. in your baby's room. I, right. No way in hell do I leave the window open. You're right. I actually didn't think about that. Yeah. I have to close the window. Yeah. Because even my wife's the same way. She's like, don't leave. I'm like, it's hot in there. She's like, yeah, but what if somebody gets in? I'm like, yeah. it can happen. Yeah, you're right. I mean, and then so you wonder, it's like in my me. shelter and my kid. No. You know, like Mm-mm. too much? No, not. I mean, think it's about just you a window. Grow- but you thinking about growing up, like right. back then, you know, like I don't remember anybody thinking about that stuff. no you didn't but Maybe, we but no. stuff like that probably was happening we just weren't aware sure it, you know? it's always i mean because we grew up in iowa where the johnny gosh i mean that was a huge one of a missing person he was just delivering papers in the 60s or in the 1980s yeah i think so but i mean you know anyway so you always have that sense of something could happen but i think closing a window that's not really being like overly protective i think that's just being cautious cautious yeah sure being safe but then again i think that you would have to a lot of whoops, a lot of people are targeted so i mean the odds of knowing that someone would sneak into that window because lately i've noticed a lot of these um cases where the kids get taken and you know raped and killed or whatever they're like i just drove by and saw your children you know playing in the sprinkler and that's what got my attention that shit scares me you does know that what really mean? happen or is it usually yeah. somebody you know no that happened what it, case it's, was that it's 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 uh, but it's a, the, but a majority of the time oh, it's yeah. somebody you know right right no you're okay. right but but there are those cases but where there it's are like, the cases yeah. where yeah. it's the some some nasty my, person so was, my daughter never got to walk to school <laughs> never got to ride the bus sheltered yeah probably but this is where like this has gotten me you know right it's, uh, yeah. Plus, our grandmother had those detective magazines out laying around. The ones that are more like sensationalized, oh, true detective Showing ones. like all the pictures of the murdered people. Well, I don't know if they were not the murdered they people. They were just those but, fake photos. But I just get worried about it because like even with my daughter, like I've always kind of been, I think, way more sheltered with her than I was growing up. And even... Looking back it's at she's a girl. Yeah. Well, even I don't know even my son. You think? Okay. Yeah, I mean, because I just I see and don't get me wrong, I think the girl does play a factor too as well. But I don't know, I guess I can't really say because I don't have a son, so I don't know. Maybe I would think differently. But I would like to think that I would probably do the same. But I don't know. I know boys are a lot more adventurous. They want to kind of run out and go, you know, so may, maybe maybe I would feel bad and be like, Yeah, go ahead. But I mean Boys go missing, you know, too, just like it girls. It happens to them. Because I, I mm-hmm. the and as a mother of, of a son, thinking of somebody doing the same thing to a guy, yeah. I would be the one jumping over in the courtroom. I, know. I would, I know, I would. Get and you that hear about guy. the the kids who walk to school, and then like the parent like works night, so they were sleeping, and so they'd miss the call of, hey, you know, your kid right. didn't make it to school, right? So you don't find out till four thirty that your kid's been missing all day long. Right. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. So, like, me not having her walk. I knew she got into that door safely mm. every day. But then again, <laughs> it's like I walked from school. And, like, yeah. I'm sure my mom thought about it. But we I don't walked. know. I, I, I guess you'd think that you live in a decent neighborhood. But even in decent neighborhoods, that's what people don't understand. You could live in the middle of the suburbs. It doesn't that's matter. That's true. You always see those videos. Yeah. I, I never thought that would happen here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nowadays, you don't even have that excuse. There's the sex offender apps. So, look it mm. up. You'll see red dots all over your freaking mm-hmm. community. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm not saying that they are going to be the ones, but they've but, already done it before. So it could happen again, you yeah, know, I mean, or it could be, be just some random dude that finally snaps. And he's just like, like you said, drives by, see your kid playing in a sprinkler and just a disgusting fucking human. And then does what he does, you know, like, and that's what, so that's what baffles my mind about the baby Lisa story. Oh, yeah. It's like, Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm like a squirrel. I'm just like, <laughs> Um, but literally like, I don't, I, it just, it's weird. Okay. And I'm not trying to accuse the parents. I know the dad has a strong alibi. He was at right. work or something. Mm-hmm. The mom, you know, 
I don't think it, it, yeah, drinking, I don't think she should have been as intoxicated as they said, but you know, I've had beers with my kids here, you know, at the house. Like, so, you know, I, I don't know how young they were at the time. Were they like in their mid twenties or. Oh, the parents. Yeah. Um, I don't know how old they were. Possibly. I I mean, I was a young dad. So, you know, I had friends over, I'd be drinking. My kids are here, you know, um, I'm not saying it's smart, but I'm not saying that she murdered her child also. Mm -hmm. I just think that. In a lot of those cases, like what we discussed today, somebody is always like had some sort of relation. Like they knew them, whether it be friend mm-hmm. or whatever it is, you know. So it just kind of weird. A stranger knowing to come to that house and go through a window or a door, it would be very, very odd. Very odd. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I guess, like on a if you were to put stat like it'd be slim to none that someone's going to actually do that but i know it does happen it does happen yeah very odd but then it was weird i mean you can kind of go over the case you you've, you guys have already discussed it uh, on that your you. on your podcast was that me that was your case oh. um <laughs> shoot i <sighs> no but like it like when they talked about like the, the mother didn't want to like kind of corrupt cooperate right. and stuff like that. Well, and I just remember the, the cadaver dog making a hit on the bedroom floor. The parent, the parents' oh, room. Oh yeah, you're right. But and then they, mean, they, they took the carpet for sampling, I think in that room to mm-hmm. try to see, I don't know whatever came of that. So. I'm curious uh, if, she, is there a basement or is it a crawl space? We couldn't find that out. But, but you can. And I just forgot to look. Was it a ranch style home? Do you know? Yeah. Yes. So, so but, but was, it could be a possibility that there's a basement be, though, because some ranches basement. have it, some people True. don't, you know. True. That was but that, that's just our thought on it. But mm-hmm. we oh, wondered. Do you think they would do that underneath their own home? Just stash the paper. Just, yeah, like, even that'd just be crime temporarily. Scene one. Just like, temporarily. But just just the fact that a cadaver I mean, I, I don't know the the statistics on cadaver dogs making hits and then being or false hits. False hits. Mm-hmm. So but it's just odd mm-hmm. when a child goes missing. And I don't remember if she said that she, um, before she went to bed, did she check in on her daughter? I thought. I would hope so. As a mother, you would go and check in on your daughter. the story Well, apparently not changed. because. In the like middle she, of that, right? She did and then she didn't. She changed it from, it, 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 it she checked on her earlier and earlier. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it, last time might have been 6 p.m. as opposed to when she finally did go to bed. But I don't have notes in front of me to be like. Right. No. And we're just doing general, and we're like just a talking, summarized. Very summarized. Yeah, yeah. But then the phone Because if, they, if, if anybody wants to like watch this, they can go. Yeah, just watch your, the episode. Yeah, watch your episode. Um, we're just. Uh, what was the name of the podcast again? We didn't even talk about that. Oh, Who Done It Sisters. There you go. That's <laughs> <laughs> important. Surprise! Yeah. How'd you guys get that name? Just uh, like, just came up with it? <laughs> yeah, oh, her really? husband yeah, came up with it. We kept thinking of, we couldn't. Every, it was everything hard. we thought of, it's already, it was already a day. Oh, so, I know, yeah, I know so. Yeah, yeah, so I actually mine was supposed to be the Bring About, and there was like a dance studio out somewhere that was called the <laughs> Bring About. So I was like, oh, really? well, I guess two Bring About. So oh, that ended yeah. up working out. But <laughs> but yeah, so um, okay, so I I wanted to. These are my thoughts on it, and tell me tell me what you guys think. I think that being pressured by investigators is very intimidating. So I could see why somebody would be put off by it. But then again, I'm with you and what you said. If something happened to my child, to come, tell me, ask me anything you want. Exactly. You know? Especially once, if I had nothing to do with it. Exactly. I think you know? once a family member quits cooperating mm-hmm. and you're saying it's because, well, they're, they're making me feel intimidated. You've already, you, that's a red flag. Okay. You don't, no, you you do whatever it takes to get because I want to be ruled out, solved. so you can go on to. So do you need to sit there to and 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 do whatever you need to do, do it, and then let's move on. Do you think like she felt attacked? Like holy shit! Like they're not doing their like they're blaming me. So kind of like oh, I don't want to do anything with these fucking guys. Like they're putting it on me. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I can only speak for myself. And what so. about, and, and it's okay, and this is all our opinions on it, so it's, it's nothing like, like, this is fact. Just our opinions. But what about them hiring the private investigator? 
I think I think I read something on mm-hmm. that that they hired a prime mm-hmm. investigator. Mm-hmm. So that I feel like that kind of shows like I think if you didn't want your child to be found, you wouldn't have done that. True. Yeah, I have no idea. Unless you're just playing along, you know. But Maybe. well, yeah. But then I think, what if the private investigator like, oh, something. you did it? Yeah, like, you, you fucking did <laughs> it. What? What? Yeah. You're fired. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, I don't know. This is one of those things where it's just very. It's just. It's a very odd case. Mm-hmm. I. That's I, just. A, I, I about, don't know. And who what did about it? what about the video? Did they ever figure out who that was in the video? Mm-hmm. The guy walking with the baby. I thought that they thought it. No, not that I know of. What was the thing with the phone that we were just talking about? How her... Oh, she didn't pay her bill or something like that? And they no, were ended up coming up with it or something? Something like it was... Something about the unlock. Someone tried to unlock it or... No, 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 no. Uh, someone called her. I thought they didn't pay the phone bill or something like that. Right. I thought that's what I seen or something. I, I don't remember. No, it's I fine. don't okay. remember. No, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, that's crazy. And then to think of, like, they never figured that out at no. all. You know, and I would probably assume you're going to look at me when you think about it, because if I swear to God, my daughter was there, then she's not. That's I know a, damn well they're going to look I'm at me I'm scared first. when my granddaughter, like, sometimes I'll wake up and like, okay, what if she's not in her bed? You know they would think that I did something. Yeah. And how do you, like, I swear, but yeah, it is a fear. And dude, I'm I'm one of those kids, or those kids, I'm one of those uh, uh, parents that checks on their kid and, like, Sometimes when she's sleeping, I have to put my hand on her chest just make to sure make sure she's, she's breathing. breathing. She's breathing. Yes. Right. Like right. I'm weird about that stuff. No, like, I, I even tell my okay. daughter. Like sometimes when my daughter, she's like checking on her. I'm like, hey, <laughs> did you put your hand on her chest? Like just to yeah, she, did you see her chest? Up I, I get scared. You know? <laughs> what what are you doing, Dad? Her hand was right above. Me. Yeah, I know. yeah, checking her pulse. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I swear, uh, I'm just checking to see if you're alive. Yeah. I know. No, I get, but, I get yeah. weird. Like I just get no. worried. It's like my fear is to like go to sleep and wake up and then be not here yeah. anymore you know? yeah. well and it's because unfortunately it happens yeah i mean that's, yeah. That's, and it's probably because like like you said you guys look into it a lot i look into it personally a lot so it's, it's like i'm aware i like you know but also i think too it's a good thing i think i think there's you should, nothing you know, wrong with checking to see yeah, your kids you alive should, well, you, and, and, and i don't think you should go out into the world and let your kids just go out there thinking that there's no uh boogeyman the, yeah and, and that's exactly i tell my daughter this all the time i've been telling her this since she was a young kid monsters always hide as good people right always and a fact because she i feel like we always make people out like like sometimes when you see the mugshot like they're not always crazy looking right sometimes they're beautiful yeah sometimes they're beautiful yeah cute sometimes they're dads like they look like somebody's dad you know Mm -hmm. like that guy did that you know like Mm -hmm. you know or Mm -hmm. think of the beat B2K guy or whatever. He looked like the B2K. pastor of a church. He was right? a pastor, he was of a church. pastor of a church. He just looked like some old dude that was, you know. And he was a nasty. Yeah, disgusting human being. Right. And so and so, I have always reiterated to her, like, I'm not saying put your guard up and don't ever trust anybody, but always be it's aware. Okay. It's okay, mm-hmm. though. Always be cautious. Just be cautious. You know? It's okay. Because I don't want her to create some introvert where she's not, no. you know, but- friends with people. But I just want her to be aware. And, so far, I think I did a great job because she's, I think she has a sixth sense to it now. So she's kind of, she'll be like, Dad, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. I'm like, good. Right, keep that up. <laughs> good. You I know? did well. Yeah, I did. Did no. all right. You listened to me. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that that's. And I remember mom teaching us, and it scared the shit out of me. Um, if someone's snatching you or trying to snatch you, you got to fight. No, oh. well, fight, fight. Oh, yes. fight. Yeah. You got to fight once there. You, get you to the fight. Car, yeah. yeah. To what's going to happen? If you You'll get shot die. right then and there, that's probably better than what's about to happen to you. Right. My mom saying that was just like, what? Because if you knew our mom, she's just not like, oh my God. Very, yeah. We couldn't say the word that, crap until like we were old. So I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's just, yes, we were raised very. Yeah. Anyway. Ted. But, that's why my voice no, is so like quiet. even my parents shit. My mom wouldn't let me leave within a walkie-talkie. I used to have to carry one around all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my Sorry. god! Do you remember when Dad used to make us take the um his uh, the pager? And back then the pagers were like you know this, oh, this page was shit. huge. But then I wouldn't. I felt so bad. I wouldn't. I wouldn't return his call. So I wasn't in the pager era though. I was like in the flip phone like uh-huh. era. But is he calling so, us old? 
I think so. We're I'm done. Not We're saying done. That. I'm not saying that. This is over. <laughs> this is, so, but with the pagers, though, didn't you have to like go call? Yes. From, yeah. So yeah. what would happen if you like? What if you're ne- near a phone? You better find one. You know <laughs> That's what why I mean? you had to carry but thirty-five. Six. Don't kidnap me. Don't kidnap me. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I, I need to call somebody. It wasn't a quarter anymore. You actually had to carry a dime. Why yeah. would you do were that? Were there pay phones when you were? Uh, yeah, there's still oh, okay. pay phones, but they weren't were. really being I used. I was born in 92. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's the year I graduated from high school. Oh, man. <laughs> we're definitely going to a memory lane today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, at anyway. least they were thinking about you guys. Though. They'll at least give you a pager. I feel like at that time, like, you know, hearing my parents <laughs> and stuff, like, they were just they ran wild. You right. Know? No one even knew when you were going to come home, just when the street lights turn on. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. But now as an adult, knowing what I put him through, not returning his freaking calls, I feel really bad. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. She does. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I feel real bad. Because think about it. You know, she's not returning you know, after six pages. Oh, like, yeah. I get mad at my daughter. She's like, who's on silent? I was like, I thought you were dead. It, like, right, don't do that yeah. to me. <laughs> right. I, it, I mean, as a parent, I mean, you guys yeah. know it's like, you know, your heart skips a beat. And I, now I wonder, like, what I did to my parents. I'm sure I freaked them <laughs> out. Like, some of the shit I did, you know. Mm-hmm. But especially, like you said, as a girl. I don't know why it is with a girl. I don't know why. Like, it's a weird. It's kind of like that weird thing like we think girls are more susceptible to like something happening to them but mm-hmm. like you said boys just as easily you know it does happen but i wonder i need to look at the statistics on that between girl and boy like you know. i could tell you that there's more males missing than females really mm-hmm. huh why do you think that is i guess well, missing uh i guess missing is kind of generalization is as as murdered Mm-hmm. It's just missing. So I mean, they could have been on their own volition, or mm-hmm. or suicide. No one ever so found out what happened to them. But yes, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. And, and they and I can tell you that males don't aren't aren't uh, the media doesn't cover ma- cover cover males going missing I've as much as that. females. Yeah, I always see like pretty girls always covered. It's always the pretties. Yeah, that's weird. What the you think they do that on purpose? I guess we were talking about I, that You'd earlier. have to ask someone in the media from yeah. why, but yes. Yeah. I would Thank say. Thank God you never went missing because you would never have been. Uh, they couldn't uh, have. <laughs> this is why. And here, here's where the humor comes. Oh, this <laughs> is why. Okay, sorry. But the yes, I mean, through. it's, yes, it's the pretties. And then, <laughs> and the, but the, the, the males, if you take the, the statistics of it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Damn, that sucks. Well. Hmm. I'm rooting for you, males. I hope you guys get more exposure, you know, and mm. people that aren't as beautiful. So. <laughs> go ugly males. Yeah, go ugly males. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, oh, I hope sad. I don't go miss. Uh, oh, stop, stop. <laughs> but, but yeah, so with the, with Lisa, with the Lisa Irwin case, it's like, I don't know. I, I chalk it up to, and we've gone back and forth about that, me and my significant other. It's like, I think I think personally that um, something happened and it was kind of a cover up. Mm. But I hate saying that, you know, and just. But how does like, her husband like. Come maybe on. he doesn't know. Really? But even though, I mean, you wake up and God forbid something happened mm-hmm. and your, your wife or significant other was the one that was home, how do you <coughs> not mm-hmm. blame. Or stay, I don't know if I could say married. Well, I don't married. think they're together anymore. Are they not? I don't oh, think okay. so. Then yeah. that, never mind. Take that back. I don't think so. That's I what I heard. You know, I might be wrong. I don't Every know. argument don't is going to lead back to that. You know what I mean? If we were like. If you weren't drunk. Uh-huh. If you weren't such a shitty father not watching your damn kids. Yeah. She would be here. How does that not go back to that? Oh, I'm sure it that would conversation back was there. Because I'd be fucking pissed. I'd be yeah. like, you're fucking drunk and you what weren't the... watching our kid, you know? No, yeah. I would. Was she even in the house? She no, I think she was on the porch, right? She was right? on the porch smoking and drinking with the neighbor. She was never across the yeah. street with the neighbor? I thought she was on her front porch. No. So I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, but I don't know. The reason, I, and the other thing too, the reason why I say this, because we've all seen that show Snapped, right? Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. you know how sometimes females can dupe their boyfriends or their lovers into doing shit? Like, mm-hmm. how many of them have we seen kill my mom and dad? And they go and fucking do it, yeah, you right? know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, or... or just like the, using their lovers to go and kill their husbands and shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe she did something called maybe a guy she was talking right. to. That's some, uh, she's cheating. You know? Yeah. And she, maybe he helped. Mm-hmm. Yep. That entered my mind too. And maybe that was the guy in the white shirt walking around on the camera. Possibly. With the, with the child. I mean, 
Maybe. And I don't know, I don't see how they seen the the child without a jacket on because that video was so grainy. Like I could not, I couldn't tell anything in that freaking. Do you I remember didn't see that? a video. Yeah, the gas yeah. station one. There was a, yeah. Did I see the video? Yeah, you did. Um, okay. yeah. Sorry, I saw the video. No, yeah, and I know this wasn't a case that we discussed prior to, so I'm I'm kind of throwing a curveball at you guys, but that one just kind of hit home just because it was I think just so close, you know, to here in Cam- oh, at least in the Northland. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yes, I don't know. I don't know. And I, I also I, found baby clothes. I think you even brought that up, but I, they found a bunch of clothes on the track and the, oh, yeah, the dumpster. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, no. Yeah. Is that with the dumpster fire? Yes. The dumpster fire. Oh yeah. There was a fire. Wasn't there something? I, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't No, that's fine. And we'll go to another one that kind of, we have more <laughs> on, but, but no, they definitely should check out your video on it. It's more detailed than what, what we're given today. Um, the, uh, the Daryl, was it Daryl Allen? Daryl Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. War Parkway. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, that was the War Park. Yeah, yeah. That one really bothered me. Mm-hmm. Really bothered me how he was running through the parking lot, screaming for help. And those guys had their shirts over, over their faces and were just shooting at him. And that is one where only two people knew where he was going to be that evening, Mm -hmm. going to that gym. So, Yeah, he was meeting up with like a friend or something like mm -hmm. that at the gym. It's another one of those so-called friends. That's another thing, too. It's like, what was going on there? Was there something? How did they know that you guys were there? Was it random? I just feel like all this stuff isn't random. It's you not know? random. Like I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like always some type of setup. You know? mm-hmm. oh, that would definitely be. Mm-hmm. An and that's the sad part too. It's like, it's like kind of like going back to that conversation with the, uh, me telling my daughter that monsters are, are hide as good people. And also what I explained her to her too, is that be aware be of your friends, fam- family member and friends, you know, yeah. you don't know how many stories I hear of mm-hmm. grandpa did this to me, uncle, whatever did this to me, right. or aunt, whatever did this to me right it's it's horrible man it's and awful and what fucking pisses me off is that like those stories get told and then like it happened like 20 years ago and they're finally coming out about it and like trying to just tell somebody and how much you've seen it fuck their life up you know like mm-hmm. just holding that within and like it would and you realize like holy shit that family member like that person I've known forever, I never would have fucking thought, you know? No, like, but it's, it's also horrible. being afraid of not being believed. Yeah. Or um, even having to relive it. I think that's where a lot of them uh, kind of suppress it, you know? Mm-hmm. They just don't want to relive it. Mm-hmm. But, and, and I talk about that one a lot because I feel like it happens a lot more. Like sexual, children of sexual abuse mm-hmm. happens a lot. Mm-hmm. More than people know. And it's, I feel like it's not talked about enough. You know, it's just, it, it's insane. I, I know that's a different topic. I don't want to go off of the Daryl Allen one, but he, uh, so he was gunned down and meeting up with his friend. So what happened during the investigation of that Ward Parkway, public place, people there, I'm guessing, see this mm-hmm. shooting happening in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't there video of him running? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Video. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. uh, I think when it, and when it ends up being someone so close to you and, you know, it's, I think it's easy to hide, you know, if a friend and another friend would be involved, just you two. And that is one where the guy who was going to meet his name was given to police. And he said that he showed up at the, at the gym or at the, at Ward Parkway after it happened and I think that we can assume that that person had people do this, but there's just no evidence. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. and because no one's going to snitch on the other. No yeah. one's snitching, and that is a, that is a purely having someone in that group snitch on each other. Yeah. But all you can do is hope is that they've said something to a girl. And they've broken up and you get an ex-girlfriend who's willing to come forward. Yeah. That is all. Is that usually how it plays out? That's what we are. That's what we are hoping. Mm. 
or if someone's you know about to get in trouble, get arrested, or whatever, you know, oh. you're willing to do that about this case, but you know? to get a lesser sentence or something. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and that's hard, especially when like the guy he was going to meet at Word Parkway. Um, I mean, he's out and about having a great life, and. Yeah, I mean, so sometimes that's... I troll him on Facebook. And... Oh, you guys know? Like, oh, yeah. I, yeah. His... I think it had to do with a female. Maybe. But I just, yeah, I, I see him. I see him. And and I, you know what? And, and there's it, just not enough evidence no, to... No, no. Mm-hmm. And it irks me no. when he posts things about how uh, crime and, you know, and all doing these things for these unsolved murders. And you're like, oh, <laughs> how, do, how dare you? He's do- what is he doing? What, what, what? If you put, you know, you know, you know, when you people share things on Facebook, like on unsolved yeah. murders, well, it's just you know when, when well, he why posts. Why would he it, even have the audacity to even set but, up? But, but not not Daryl's, no. just some you know just That's, crime. But why even yeah. if you're a murderer yourself? Right, exactly. It's like you're like. Just, I guess you're trying to play like he you're is. Not, oh, you know, but he is. Like a he's, fox. Oh, yeah. he's got it. He's a business owner. I mean, you know, oh, he's God. he's somebody. He's somebody. You know, and he's. He's got a lot of followers. He's got people who like him, and and he's got these little minions who do what he wants. Uh huh. Damn, that's insane. Is that something you guys can't get too detailed about? Right? Like about like? Isn't his name's given on the video? Oh, is it? So he was one of the shooters. No, he, no, he's the he one that told set it up. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, okay. Right. So what were they trying to get? Money or what? I, I don't know. I think it had to do with a female. That. Oh, I don't, so I he, don't, sent a, he sent out like a hit squad on a dude yeah. that he was messing with. I like don't know okay. the motive. I don't. That's, that's your what, thought on it. But um, yeah, I uh, I just know that. Maybe that happens though. I mm-hmm. mean, because, I mean, look at how many people die over a girl. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, no. It's always, it's the same thing. It's what is a greed, um, jealousy. Jealousy. Uh, it's, oh, man. Friends being jealous. All the cases that we have. Yeah. I mean, just even once the names I that we didn't even Did we bring you. up the one with the kid that came back to get the backpack of money? He wanted no, to buy a car. No, we didn't mention him. Mm. We didn't. But yeah, his he friends. went up with his he friends. Was, yeah, his Who friends. Who is this? Oh, shit. Now I'm just talking about I don't know his name. <laughs> I feel horrible. Heron. Nah, I don't feel horrible. No, There's a lot of stuff. Um, There's a lot of stuff recovered. His mom's. Believe it or not, we've been going on two hours, so that's probably oh, why you have it. His mom's. Yeah. I love his mom. Brandon. Herring. Herring. Brandon. Brandon Herring. Brandon Herring. Yeah. Brandon Herring. Yeah, I'm about to say, how many cases have you guys done? So you probably have a lot a of lot. names. A lot. So yeah. that one. I saw it. Oh, that was came, a, He wanted a car. He had all this money saved up. He carried it with him. Carried all the money with him. So he carried this cash to, to go buy a car. His with his friends. With yeah. his friends. People he knew since he was a kid. And the mom talks about how she she fed them. You know, they all they went to dinner. her daycare yeah. in yeah. her home, and they killed her son. Man. And that's one. Oh, can we say mm-hmm. we've had we've had tips? We get tips. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and we turn them in. Yeah, and that's we've had tips on that one. Mm-hmm. That's all we'll say. Okay. And Sorry. If, yeah, and if there is anything that we covered no, today, no, I think it's I'll okay. definitely bleep it out. No, no, it's okay. We just, hey, that's one that yeah. we turn things in on. No, I get it. But do you guys get actually quite a bit of tips mm, for cases? Some. Yeah. Some, I guess probably all of them aren't going to lead somewhere, but I not guess it's all, helping. But then we, you know? I guess we don't tell the family members then when we get tips because, I mean, why would you... Before, when we first got our first tip, we were really excited, you know, but it didn't didn't go anywhere. So why, you know, tell these people that hey, say, hey, we got a tip on yours. Yeah. But yeah. Well, again, though, I always feel like, especially when it's, I think that's a really good tip. It's like, why don't you yeah. ha- search harder? But, it's like, it's like, you don't want to like give them a false hope. No, that's right. what it is. Yeah. So, so I, yeah, but yeah, because the tip could, but it couldn't. And right. you just don't want to open up, keep opening up that right, room, right. you know, mm-hmm. or getting them excited to where like, okay, I'm fine. Excited is a wrong word, but like getting their hopes up to like, right. oh, this may give me closure, and then it just leads nowhere. Again. Right. So, yeah, I mean that's that's crazy. Um, what do you guys think like uh, parents can do to kind of like, I, I don't know, like protect you know, and like, or even talk to their kids of just senseless murders, like just senseless violence, like I would say just. 
one thing, I mean, ever since my daughter was, was able to talk, um, you know, your kid will come up to you and just talk, Graham, you know, and a lot of people, oh, shut up, you know, just mm-hmm. go with it. I never did that. I've always wanted to keep open communication with her. Mm-hmm. So I never told her to shut up or, you know, go away or stop talking. Because once you start doing that, they're going to stop talking to you. So I think that's one thing is to always have open commu- If you can, have open communication with your children. So then they can feel like they can come to you about anything. I completely agree. Yeah. But then just know that a friend's not always a friend. Yeah, that's hard. And that is... That's hard. A very... Because when you know them since like daycare, how do you... But we we see that on almost 50% of the cases that we have done, it has been someone, the suspect is family or someone they knew. Yeah. And... And that is a lot. I don't even know how you protect yourself with that. I think, I think honestly, just, I think instilling in your kids what you said, as well as like situational awareness, like this, I probably shouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Mm, like, this I know. Is, like, I know like a big thing, like, you know, like parties and stuff like that. Like your kids are going to go out to parties and stuff, but like, man, some of the shit I've been at that just, you know. I remember there was somebody told me something like anything after one, it's no good. Or anything after midnight, Mm -hmm. like no good happens. And they're right. I mean, all this shit that happens two, three in the morning, you know, like trying to tell them like, like, yeah, I know you want to do this, but maybe you should rethink like if you're in these situations or like, like be aware, like if you see a group of people arguing, maybe go somewhere else, like stand somewhere else or be aware, like so you don't get caught. Because what happens all the time? Victims will get caught in crossfire, mm-hmm. you know, like oh, when people hard. shooting at each other, you know, like, and and like, and I know there's sometimes like, there's nothing we can do. Like, look what happened to the parade. Like, mm. there was like no time to even notice, you know, and it's so oh, many yeah. people, That's just you so, know. Or ra- one yeah. of those just random things. Yeah, but at like some of these things, though, you can kind of see the tension building, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Or like that guy rolling around with all that money. Like, mm-hmm. you know, maybe if his dad or somebody was telling him like, Hey man, don't be rolling around all that mm-hmm. cash. Are you crazy? Like don't do, don't be flaunting stuff like that. Or right. like putting it on, not saying he was, but like people who put stuff on Facebook right. and stuff like that. Like there's people watching, people are tracking right. you. They're going to rob you, you know, and not everybody's just going to put you at gunpoint. Somebody might shoot you, you know, like out of in the moment, crazy, you know, like just, I think it would be so hard to sit there and tell your child, though, you can't trust your friends. Yeah. But I don't know which ones. <laughs> which I mean, I don't know. Well, I've had a hard time saying that because I also don't want to give her trust issues. Right. Yeah. So, so that's been the balance. But I and this think, almost gives us trust <laughs> issues. But I think it's what you it. said. Keep that line of communication. You open. have to. So during in that line of communication, you're explaining. You're not going being that parent that's just like. Don't trust anybody <laughs> and then walk away. No, you're having, and these things don't happen just one day. This is communication that spans over the lifetime of your child right. because it's not like they hit 18. You're an adult now. Good luck. Mm-hmm. You know, that's exactly. not, and I see a lot of parents that do that shit. They're driving nuts. Oh, I can't wait to they hit 18. It's like, no, <laughs> uh, I know some, I know it's a joke sometimes, but like uh-huh. some people are actually like about it. And it's just, you're going to have to parent that child until they, until you die. Yeah. Hopefully, because that's how we all want to do. We want right. us to die first. Um, and so keep when you have that line of communication open, mm-hmm. over time you're saying, hey, be careful who you trust. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying don't trust nobody. Right. Just always kind of keep a sense of what you feel is funny, what you feel is off. And then if people are hurting, you don't allow them to continue. Mm-hmm. Because there's always red flags, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's always in those cases like, so-and-so seen this or this was happening to them, you know? So right. you but just got to be aware of that stuff. It's not just preparing. I mean, not just letting warning or you're raising your child. So that doesn't happen to them. But also if you know something or if you see something mm-hmm. to do the right thing and to, to tell the police. Yeah. Also, because, yeah. um, which I know is or if they don't different. feel comfortable telling the police, I mean, tell someone. somebody yeah. because 
again, I think with all these unsolved yeah. or missing people and people knowing things, it's also, it's, it's okay mm-hmm. to say what you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you feel homes play a factor too? Just like maybe not coming from good homes, good backgrounds, having that. I, I don't that know if I would say that because I think that we see this happen to a broad Right. Right. A I mix. mean, so yeah. a mix, uh, divorce, single, or you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, economical yeah. race, uh, crap happens to anybody and everybody. I mean, right. mm-hmm. um, same with, so I don't know if we could pinpoint that if there's a way to pinpoint. Hmm. No, I get it. Yeah. It's just, I always, I think a lot. So, you know, I get lost in thought thinking about like what ways you can like prevent and like create children who are more aware and like just, because I think that's the whole goal. I think, and I'm not saying that random stuff doesn't happen. It does that you just weren't prepared for. It's, It's a flip of a coin. But some of this stuff just seems kind of like there's little things here and there that could have been taught, you know, to kind of be aware of that stuff, you know, but. Um, kind of going off topic on that, like, uh, there was a couple of questions I want to ask you guys on how you feel and we're getting close to wrapping up. Um, do you feel like, and I'm not saying this cause I know you guys, this is your thing. And I think what you guys do is, is great. You're shedding light on all these, inve- uh, these cases that pretty much in the dark right now. Do you think there's kind of like a weird like fantasy and like true crime, like sometimes too much? Mm -hmm. Like, because my thing is, is like, okay, so I'm watching like a Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix documentary and I'm sitting here watching it. And to me, it's like I'm watching it. It's a good documentary. It's interesting, educational. You're learning something from it. So I'm not saying I'm a saint for this. Like I'm, I'm get pulled in just like everybody else Mm -hmm. does. But do you, like, how does that affect the families of those victims? Oh, I thought even that one that they got upset because with the Dahmer one, especially, something was portrayed funny. But I think it's just making sure that... um, Like, what do they do? Do they reach out to these families and like, hey, we're going to bring out another... Like, because think of of you're one of the uh, victim's family members Mm -hmm. and you're on Netflix and you're like... Another documentary. Except how many Jeffrey mm-hmm. Dahmer documentaries are there? I think they have mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, you don't have to watch it. But damn, dude, it's just like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying they do. They probably don't. But it's just got to be horrible to see that. And then it's like right. a wound getting opened right. every right. time. So. And I think that's why we also, we have, we've had problems with people, family members even canceling uh, interviews. Mm-hmm. Because it's hard to, to talk about, talk about it again. Right. So sometimes it's like time heals and it's like, cause you could, you just got to live on. Cause right. if not, you're going to be, it's, it's all a matter of your whole m- life. moving forward. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's my thing. It's like seeing that. I just wonder if sometimes like not Hollywood in a sense, but I mean, kind of is like, are we doing too much? Like, is there too many, like too much stuff out there? But then again, it's like, I think, I think it needs to be, I needs to be done too at the same time. Because I, and I, I get, we all want to do our own way of doing a podcast, but like, I, I kind of think, why are you, when you're putting on your makeup while you're talking about a case, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Or, you know, sometimes I think, is that really, respectful yeah. to the families right the victims but i think um not or is going, that not going against that but i think some people just trying to think of a new way to get your attention to keep your attention to watch it so sometimes maybe if it takes me putting on makeup to keep your attention then you know oh is that what they do like put on makeup or yeah there's, the some have there's like all these different yeah. types of yeah. like i see a lot of the tiktok ones will be like somebody's floating head and they're talking oh or no something. i haven't really? seen no yeah, you know how they have that's like a green screen so they'll have like the photos in the background but it's just like their head and they're talking on like oh, really no yeah, i haven't yeah. i i uh no <laughs> yeah like that one with the uh super bowl or chiefs one when it was like negative 30 and those three guys died right back like they're like everybody oh, was coming yeah. out about that yes stuff, yes so. that was a big 
Yes. Yeah, it was like s- supposed to be overdosed on. Oh, that, that that's, that happened? that's what the thought. I never heard. No, I never seen the uh, toxicology oh, okay. report or I whatever it's called. Oops, yeah. Okay, all of a sudden I went quiet. Yeah, oh, everybody kind of was talking about that. that was yeah. like a big but thing. But that's what I'm saying. So those people on TikTok are kind of just coming out real quick and giving the story, which is good. Before they got because, all the information. Yeah, but I think it's like you got to be careful because you're going to be like the news where they come out and they say something too quick and then mm, right. you know, they get they start messing stuff up. You know, so. Yeah, there is a, a guy that um, – because usually we talk – unless it's a really old case, we talk mm-hmm. to the families, Right. Yes. So, yes. but there is a guy that that does not do that, and we talking he about started Kansas City. Yeah, okay, and just... he didn't get permission, is not getting permission, or not getting the correct story. Mm. So, if you're out there just telling the story, we you try to be, get it right. We try to do research, at least get the story right, right. big time, because yeah. that pisses that's them off. very like, important to me. Because um, why why talk about it if you don't have the right story to begin with? Yeah, sometimes people chase clicks. That's. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Clicks and, views. and we try, so we just try to be respectful. We have declined sponsors so that we're okay. not sitting there and I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Cause I didn't want to have to sit there and talk about jewelry. <laughs> How yeah. do you do that? How do you fit that in? But then it's also hard too to like, you want to fund the show. Like even some it's people who pocket. are just like, yep. yeah, they're like, Hey, I want new equipment or yeah, you just you know, pay for it. Yeah. I Say, know. honey, honey, I need, if, I mean, it's expensive. If, if you can it would have to be like a ring. If, if, if ring would like to, you know, I mean, if something if it makes related. Sense. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cause yeah. how could I talk about lawnmowers or something? You know? Oh, I totally agree. Yeah. That makes like, choose your sponsors. Definitely. Right. Wisely. So, <laughs> so we've had jewelry, but I mean, yeah. so we don't do, you know, we haven't wanted to, I get that two crime is a, yeah. uh, have like a chainsaw fun. podcast or a chainsaw <laughs> yeah. sponsor or some this weird is shit. some people use. Yeah. It's like, what <laughs> the it's hell? unfortunate <laughs> that that episode happened to be on the person who was killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. I was trying to be that funny. Be that was not okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how Probably not appropriate joke. Right. Hey, we're wrapping it up. So we have to have a little laugh <laughs> after all the all the dark but, stuff um, we talked about. But yeah, so it's just I think we just we try to be respectful while knowing that mm. this is a I just want them to know we're not topic. there just for money. We're there to help them first. Oh yeah, no, that's everything's out of pocket. Yeah, we are making no money. <laughs> well that's why I had you guys on, just because of what I seen. Like it just seemed like you guys were not trying to put on some theater or some like t- like a show it's like you were just like one being yourselves and at the same time giving (laughs) giving uh information to people that maybe didn't even know that was going on in their town Mm -hmm. so i think it was great i think i think it was awesome um there was a couple of uh stuff because i know i mentioned sword and scale you guys haven't checked out please check that out maybe we can talk about that next time there was like a really like this one sticks out to me a lot. And I know we're going over another case. Mm-hmm. But have you guys ever went over the Peter Scully case? No. Okay. Please go look into that one. Okay. That one drove me insane what that man did over okay. in like the Philippines. Okay. Literally was um, telling parents who were like, and this isn't America poverty. This is like third world poverty. Like, don't know if you're going to eat. For a couple of days, like, right. like, don't know what to tell their kid. Poverty, like living in like huts, and he would tell these parents, "Give your child to me," because he's, he's like Australian guy. So like, they see this white guy, and they're like, "Oh, he's gonna help us," you know. Mm-hmm. Bring them to me, and like, they'll have them like teach them or some shit, like, like give them education or something. And he used like these two girls to kind of like coax the kids and stuff like that and Mm -hmm. i'm sure they were victims of it too Mm -hmm. but like the things that man did Mm -mm. i mean just like and he's not even i don't even think he even got tried for the daisy destruction tape i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that one horrible what he did to those three babies oh hell um yeah, yeah yeah disgusting and but that that's the one that stuck out to me because i was like on a true crime like Like, I was, like, going down all this stuff just because I never, like, I always watch stuff, like, with her. And, like, we would, I'd watch what she was watching. But, like, some of these podcasts, like, they're not, like, on the Oxygen channel, like, where they just kind of give a brief. Like, they're detailed about, like I told you guys, the recordings in the courts and the investigations and just, like, and it just opens up your eyes, man, to, like, some of the monsters out there. Mm -hmm. Like, and... 
he's in prison now, but will not confess to yeah. anything he did. Like 60 Minutes Australia did an interview with him. Mm-hmm. And Is this that, like recent? Uh, no. Oh. I don't know what year it was, but it wasn't recent. If you look up Peter Scully and you'll see it on YouTube, you'll see the Australia 60 Minutes. And that interviewer wanted to, I think it was a female interviewer. I, she like wanted to strangle him, right? Like she couldn't even hold it together. That's how bad the case was. But like, definitely like check out some of those, like, you know, the ish. And there's also a guy on Instagram named Tonda Bloss. Uh, he's a uh, jujitsu guy and he puts up a lot of stuff too. Like, cause like, he's a big advocate for like kids getting bullied, uh, kids like get, having stuff happen to them. Like, uh, just like I said, you know, and I know all the cases we talked about were adults and those need to have light too, but the kids ones, I just feel like, I don't know, to me, it just like as a father, it just sticks out the most. And and sometimes I feel like they're the ones that kind of get off to the side sometimes, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. especially, like I said earlier, I walk into Walmart and just see all these mm-hmm. missing kids and stuff. It just, it, And I'm honestly one of those people that I could look at your photo and then you could walk by and I wouldn't even notice, mm-hmm. you know, I couldn't. Yeah, like you, you like you don't have like a good like photo mem- like a memory. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I get it, I get it. Um, yeah, but I want to appreciate you y'all coming on. I, I really do. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah. Really, very much. Yeah, we yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Uh, is there anything you guys want to talk about before you? Uh, I'll definitely I'll have your YouTube and Instagram and stuff in the in the notes. No. But is there anything you guys have coming up or? Um, we filmed. Um, over the weekend, we filmed one on um, Artemis Ogletree. He was uh, killed in 1935. Mm-hmm. So we went to the hotel. Mm-hmm. And um, that one, um, I'm going to finish editing. And we have an interview next weekend with a mother of a victim. Mm-hmm. So that'll be coming out. Awesome. And then we have more in the works, but um, one where we're not sure if it was a suicide or a or a homicide. We're right. doing research on that. Um, waiting so. for yeah, information from Kansas City on really? that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, is there any plans like for the future? Do you plan to just stay local or do you guys plan to do anything? We've talked about that. I know. Um, right now. I've seen some ones you've actually done from a long time ago. Who was the young African-American boy that got killed that you guys did a... Uh, Emmett Till? Yeah, that one. That was... Um, that was a very... Like, because that didn't happen here. No, that was in Missis- uh, Money, Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah, but I've seen that story before, so that's right. a pretty famous story. Right. right. Yeah. That's just one that was just very important to us. Do you all plan to talk about more stuff like like different, like around the United States? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't and- know. It just depends. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. We would we're open to ideas, but yeah. mm-hmm. I just think it's it's hard when we. I just feel like there's just so much here in our own city for sure that that was all that would always be the top priority. Yeah, and I'm sure it's hard balance. I'm sure you guys got jobs and stuff. So I'm sure it's hard balance of mixing. It, you know, it is. All of it. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I totally get it. And uh, is there any organizations that y'all recommend for people who are viewing this that maybe they could reach out and help or? Well, I would obviously would do donut work. Yeah, org. for sure. Um, I don't know if there was any other ones you know of here locally or Corey's network. They okay. um, uh, they have advice advice ah, <laughs> oh my, that's really horrible. They have support groups and they help um families. Yeah, like when you were saying, what would you do if you were the one that had like a, a murdered child or something? What should they do? Mm-hmm. They actually will help you with that. I mean, because they, um, the woman um, had a child that was murdered. Corey. Huh? Corey. Okay. So yeah, that one's been solved. Okay. But she, living it, you know. What did they help with? Um, what, what did they, they, What did the organization do for the... Um, well, they also sometimes help with uh, paying for the funerals. Oh, okay. Um, cool. But then, like therapy, yeah, um, support right. groups, and then kind of walk you through maybe what you know the police may be doing from beginning to end. You know, oh, since they've okay. been through they, that, they have contacts, and right. and sometimes they're even good at getting um, the news um, media. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, they're they're a good one. I mean, she's lived it, or they lived it, so yeah, they know. Well, hey, uh, thank you again. And, thank uh, you. I'd love to have you guys on again whenever you guys want. Just definitely holler at me. And I'd love to, especially as, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, there will always be cases mm-hmm. that come up. And 
uh, if I can help at all, you know, with my outreach, I'd, I'd love to help too. So well, thank uh, you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Mm -hmm.